yet. So uh, it'll um, be from roll twenty. From, uh, mute, mute roll twenty. Um, what was I going to say? The the sprites aren't quite the right diam dimensions. I rushed this a little. I so what I'm talking about. I am exactly the size of a mountain. <laughs> It's in my backstory. Oh, this, is just, this is this is just to show you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you read it? Yeah. <laughs> I have read it all like twelve pages. <laughs> I'm not done. I'll let you know when I update it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So is that like Tana looks really really good as well. I can't believe how good that is, Mark. That's really cool. Did a really good job. That's the, awesome. The the thing is, I did um, your guys' characters first, like all the player characters first, and then I started working on the NPC characters. And when I was working on the NPC character, when I was working on your guys' characters, I actually drew them at this scale. And it then occurred to me that I can resize things in Roll Twenty, so I did them at higher resolution, and they looked much better. So. What I might do from now on is just do them at high resolution because they just might look way better. Like Ragmore, for the example, I think he looks far better than your guys' characters because I did it at like 600 by 600, where yours were like 140 by 140. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, they look immense, man. Really, really good. Um, so impressed. Look at little Ray as well, little Ray. Yeah, little Ray. I, don't know, I still don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean... <laughs> Let's not make it weird. Uh... <laughs> Just embrace it. That's yeah. what I would do. <laughs> Although you do realise I took animal handling specifically to get my own pet called Ray. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a long night, is it? <laughs> yeah, that is, that is awesome. Okay, um, I think you probably have to change your master audio volume as well, because it's a new game. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, the music. Change your what now? If you go to the settings tab, top right corner, the little cog. Oh, yeah? In the oh, okay. like the volume slider. Same with like the character names, your display name. Yeah. So you can play music to this as well. That is awesome. Yeah. Yep. You should be able to hear right now. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, are you streaming, Christian? I am. Can you, you the drop the link for your stream into Discord? Because I think Nails wants to watch. I thought he might drop in. Mhm. Mm He's actually rolling a character. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about it. Okay, I need... Do you need just to set out max HP and stuff again, or are you doing that? Yes, you, if you could do that, that would be helpful. All right, you guys, you just click on click on your character, and in the green, uh, the green circle in the center, just type your max HP in there. Uh, again, I need a little bit more guys than that. Where's my character? I guess it's in my sprite, right? or...? Yeah, yeah, on your sprite. Click on your uh, left click on your sprite once. Oh, I didn't have my own. The right thing, yeah. You should have only control of your character. I think I can control Ragmore as well. You should be able to. I've set that up. Okay. So, my max HP is. You can also change the color. So, I'm going to change my guy to. I change. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I changed my level one feats, so I'll send you... Do you want a new copy of the character sheet? Uh, we'll do it after this. Okay. I also swapped out a spell, a level one spell, for a different one. 
Um, like as it learnt permanently or learnt in general, like prepared, prepared for this, uh, uh, prepared stuff. Right. And also, and also known actually, it wasn't known previously. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. Know. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it wasn't known, but now is announced. <laughs> Okay, I can't change my color, so I guess I'm just light blue, which I can't replicate in here. Um, can I not? Oh, I can change my color. Never mind. I got it. I got this, yo. Oh, it's Ollie. Oh, 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 oh. You need to join the game and have a look at the character sprite Mark made for you. It's insane. Just click on his link that he put there. So I want to be green. All right, Mark. Whoever you want, man. It's all right. I like green. So everyone can put like a color on your sprite, like whichever one you want. You can change the color of the little dot next to your actual webcam thing by just left clicking it and choosing a different color if you want. Cool. And can you all, can you guys change your names to your character names as well? Let me make myself purple so I match. So what I'm going to do, I'll eventually resize all of the sprites again. Uh, because obviously, Ray, the, the Raven is not quite the scale there. It's kind of stretched. No, that's how he, he looks. He has really fat wings. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fat Raven. He's an overfed Raven. <laughs> He's a very thin body, but very chunky wings. It's good to know. It's good to know. Mm. Um, oh, it looks really good. I really like it. I was up until... 7.30 this morning finishing these character sprites. They, they honestly look insane, Mark. You did a wicked job. Really, really good. <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet, I assure you. <laughs> that ragmore, though, that ragmore looks like 3D. It looks insane. It looks really, really good. That was the first one of my new method, and then I did a couple of other ones, which you'll see, hopefully, depending on how much we progress tonight. It actually looks like a top-down yeah. World of Warcraft war or something. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks like a 3D model from the top. Yeah. It's really good. You know, it's funny you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of used character models for reference oh, for most nice. of this stuff. That makes sense. Yeah, because it was very difficult for me to get the, the correct proportions. Mm. And all the things I looked for online weren't very helpful. So what I just did, I kind of used those to gauge the proportion sizes. Um, I think okay. we're ready to go. Yep, I'm good to go. I just realized I've uh, never seen anyone wear their headphones over their hoodie before. I know, all right? That's really Innovation, weird. mate. <laughs> Innovation. You look like you don't understand how headphones work. <laughs> no, I do. They go on my ears. <laughs> so, just for my reference, the three bubbles above my head, I've put my health in the middle one. Mm -hmm. What about the red and blue one? What goes in there? Uh, I think they're modifiers. You can put anything in there. Like, you like okay, some you, people, just a some, reference, right? Yeah, well, it's for you more than anything else. Yeah, um, but some people use, for example, the red one could be um, ammunition, like how many yeah. shots they have left. Okay. Or like how many spells they have, you know, things like that. Really, okay, there's no cool. like set guide. I can't remember. How... Uh, don't forget. Uh, I think like Christian already knows this, but like for, for the rest of you, if you remember, you can track buffs and de I think you can track. Yeah, you can track buffs and debuffs in PC Gen using the the temporary bonuses. <clears throat> so you don't need to like track it in Roll Twenty. 
So if, if we get a nice bless from Kana, we can just apply it in roll 20 and apply it to the character sheet. All right. Okay. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yep. Are we, are we good to kick Go on? It's one one last chance to try and convince Oliver to play. Oliver, you're a faggot. <laughs> yeah. It will be more fun without you, so you should join us. To it make sure no one has fun. <laughs> <laughs> just, just think of how many arrows you can shoot into people's backs. There's like, like five characters here. I like I, that Christian said that because if I said that to Christian, he would definitely play one hundred percent. If I'm like, it'd be more fun without you. you What's wrong with that? <laughs> okay, so where we left off for the sake of Ray more than anyone else, not Ray the Raven, Ray the person. <laughs> um, <laughs> it started. It has. Um, so what essentially has happened was. The guys kind of went down into a mine um, with hopes of rescuing some trapped prisoners. And as they went down there to find these prisoners, they ended up fighting um, a platoon of kobolds and uh, one very old elderly cave troll. Um, they defeated this, but in the process, one of the kobolds set off a trap which detonated um, a cave-in, so they were forced to find an alternate way out. So what they ended up doing is leaving one of the members of the party with the, the prisoners and looked further for a way out. And as they were looking further, they bumped into Kana and Mabron, uh, who actually came down to the mine trying to scope out the area ahead of time, uh, a week in advance before the other guys knew. Um, and they kind of traveled through and they ended up finding um, some kind of illusion in the mountainside. And as they stepped through this illusion, they found themselves in a caldera within the mountain range itself. And they kind of had a look around and saw off in the distance a large doorway, very large, something like 18, 20 meters tall. And as they approached this, they discovered that um, inside this door was um, some ancient treasure. Um, and they had to solve some riddles to get past it. And once they got in, they kind of fumbled their way through some traps. And the treasure room itself was actually a giant orb of glistening what appeared to be water just floating in the air. And as Dunstan approached it and raised his arm out to touch it, um, the orb itself condensed down into the size of about a basketball. And um, they actually unleashed a lich under the world. A very weak lich. They actually killed it in one shot. Um, but they didn't actually kill it. It kind of reformed and gated its way out. Um, and so they've essentially just unleashed a great evil upon the world. Yeah, I wanted to do it. So. Textbook We're heroes! <laughs> <laughs> Can we have our reward now? <laughs> uh, and in doing so, as the lich escaped, it left let off uh, a giant shockwave and a blast of energy that knocked everyone unconscious. And that's where we're picking up. They're unconscious. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> you all spent five yeah. weeks in a coma. Welcome <laughs> to the party. You died. <laughs> so, where, where are we? Oh, I'm about to, I'm oh, okay. about to let okay. you into this. Okay, fair enough. So, you, uh, you hear the muffled clattering of hooves, softly walking along a pathway. You feel that your hands and legs are restrained and bound with a very taut rope. Oh, shit. There is a tight wrap of cloth tied around your mouth and almost preventing you from breathing. Um, as you begin to open your eyes, you can, uh, it's met with the bright light of the sky. You are quite aware of a throbbing headache pushing down on you. As you attempt to look around your immediate area, all you can see uh, all you can sense is that you're laying in the back of a wagon uh, with what appears to be bundles of cloth. 
Uh, you try to focus to make out so that your companions are lying alongside you and they're also bound. Uh, moments later, you fall back into unconsciousness. Damn it, Dunstan, come on. Get this together. is for Dunstan. You're immediately thrust into consciousness as a bucket of cold water is hurled over you. You feel your arms restrained as you are held aloft with shackles, with your back against a rough stone wall. Stood before you are three men. Two are wearing grey robes with a, a cross kind of sigil embroidered across it, um, uh, carrying various implements. There's a third man uh, wearing a dark grey full plate armour with what appears to be a thin tapestry draped over his left shoulder bearing the same sigil as the other two. Um, can, you start I, to... can I notice what sigil it is? Can I do knowledge religion? You can try. Uh, also, did you paste the stream link, Christian? I did. Oh, I pasted it in the wrong channel. That'll do it. Thank you. Um... Yeah, so I want to make a knowledge religion. So uh, plus six. So if I go, <laughs> there's my roll. Okay. So looking at it, um, the actual um, sigil itself, it looks like a, a very nice embroidered cross with a very thick gold band, a uh, white band, sorry, around the outside of it, and around the outside of that is a shield shape. And um, you've seen this before, but you have no real idea of what it could be linked to. And I, I don't kind of glean where I might have seen you it. No, no. You've seen it around on your travels. Um, right. it, it's never really been associated directly with like churches or any particular religious right. areas. Okay. They just You just see them scattered around in towns. Um, you do feel that this is probably linked to a religion. You're just not really sure which. OK. Uh, so I ask, like, what is this? Like, wh who are you? Why am I bound? The, the gentleman kind of looks across to you and just smiles and just says, begin the torture. Before you can say anything else, you feel a bolt of electricity shoot through your entire body. Oh, this is good. We're fine, um, though, right? Yeah, no, no electricity for us. This, this torture that you're enduring right now, this will go on for the next two days. Uh, that will kill me. Like, do they heal me? Do they, like, ease up a bit sometimes? Well, they're essentially... You get the sense that they're actually torturing you for information, not to okay. kill you. Okay, just making me, like, really uncomfortable rather than trying to do damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're trying to break you. Okay. And I'm unbreakable. Now, at the same time, <laughs> we're jumping to the other parties. Uh, other party member, sorry. Uh, you all wake in a dreary cell. Much like the one on screen. Cool. Um, um, it's roughly two by three meters, the size. And the smell of damp fills your nose as you begin to take in your surroundings. Uh, you feel very uncomfortable as you sit up and stretch your aching muscles because of the small sleeping cot. Um, the whole front wall in front of the cell is a, just a large section of cast, thick, thick cast iron bars. Um, the, there's room for a small door, and a small lavatory is in the, the far corner of your cell. There are several brazes um, dotted around the room, which is emitting a decent amount of light, uh, so you can actually see the area. And there is two guards standing on the far corner of the wall, kind of near where the door to the, the entrance of this, this cell is. Um, and as you are just looking around, bringing in your surroundings, the door opens, and a hooded figure enters the room, um, carrying what looks to be some rations of food for you for, you for the day. As he walks over to you, uh, he kind of forcefully slides the meal into your cell, and he leans close to Mabron, and he says, in a, in a very calming, whispered tone, please, you will need your strength. He quickly turns away and leaves. Hmm, okay. Sorry, are we all in the same cell, or are we in a cell each? You're all in a cell each. There's you, there's Connor, there's Ragmore, and um, there's Jace. You okay. all, um, you guys are not bound, but 
all of your equipment is being taken away from you. Right. Okie dokie. Um, and are we facing like across from each other? Can can we see across the cells uh, it, to each other? It's kind of or... like it's it's kind of like in an L shape. There are two. There are like three cells where you guys are, and two uh, on the lower side. Um, so you guys are like next to each other, and then Ragmore and Jace are on the far two. Uh, Jaden, I think is his name is. Jaden. Sorry, Jace. Jaden. Ah, okay. And the the guards, we can see them from from where we are from yep. in, and yep. they they're in full view. Okay. Yeah, you can imagine like it's you, the the cells are in like an L shape. And on the opposite side, the top corner of that L shape is where the guards are stood next to a door. Right. So they can like see through the entire room. Okie dokie. And the sorry, the person who dropped off the food. Um that was was that one of the guards who spoke softly or was it somebody else? I missed that. It it was you gathered it might have been a guard. Uh-huh. But he was wearing a hood over his his head, so you can actually make out any features. Okay. Um, uh, he was wearing heavy armor. You can see the the plate like clattering as he walked through. But he was. You got the sense that he was kind of covering his appearance on purpose. Okay. Um. Now, when he said to me, he said, "You'll you'll need your strength." Can I uh do a sense motive check on him? To see sure. if that's a benevolent what do you thing. Wanna... Um, okay, yeah. Or, you know, obviously I don't know at the moment that Dunstan's being tortured for two days. <laughs> yep. Uh, so is it uh, 1d20 plus modifier? Hmm. Um, judging by his tone, you kind of sense that he's genuine. He's, he's like trying to, like, give you some advice. He's not doing it out of spite or like, he doesn't want to, to appear. Um, I think he's trying to make sure that he, you feel that he's not a bad guy. Like he's trying to offer some kind of assistance. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, I'll, I'll take a look at the food then. Is it, does it look edible? It doesn't look like it's, uh, I mean, it's, I trust the guy. Like, so I'm... It's, it's kind of like dried Meats and okay. some like semi, not quite fresh vegetables, um, but it's all edible as far as you're aware. Cool. So jerky and uh, squishy veg. Okay, I will. Uh, I will eat the food. <laughs> so I'll, okay. yeah, I'll just going to start you, eating the, way, the food. You, 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 Very practical. You kind of went around the room and slid it to each of you, and you were the last person that he slid it to, and you were the, that's the reason why he whispered what he did to you. Okie dokie. Is there anything further you wish to do? Um, I can't really. I do. How far away is it from um from me to the guards? Just out of interest. About ten feet, fifteen feet. They're not too far away. And it's do a very I small see? Room overall. Do I see any like keys prominently on display? Um, you can see the furthest away guard has a, a keychain around his belt. Like a key loop with keys on it around his belt. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, it's yeah, also I... worth pointing out that you two, like, this is the second day. Like, as Dunstan is going through his torture for the past okay. two days, you have been in this cell for the past two days as well. Right. Okay. Um, and this is like the first time anybody's really come to speak to us. Yeah. Well, you had like rations given to you uh, left in your cell the first day when you arrived. And when you awoke, there were some rations there. Um, but on this day, this is the first time someone's actively brought you food. Oh, um, do I... Um, is Ray, Ray is presumably not in the cell with me because it's... Yeah, right, he's unlikely. kind of like in a cage. Oh, okay. He's they like did pick up the unconscious Raven then. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he is in prison. Like he's kind of sat on uh, the table in a like cage opposite you. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I can't think of anything that I immediately want to do. Okay. Help me, um, Rich. Do you want to? Kana. Sorry. 
I guess just eat a little bit of food and sit and wait it out for a bit. Well, as you guys begin to eat the food and just sit around... We're waiting for Dunstan to bust us out. <laughs> I'm waiting for you guys. I'm being just tortured. Here. You're just chilling. Go. We'll just wait it out. We'll just wait till he stops screaming. This jerky's really tasty. <laughs> you guys are okay. eating caviar. So, <laughs> so, back to Dunstan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you were kind of like in a, in a partially conscious state and you hear a soft voice echoing as if it's calling from you from an ethereal plane. Remain vigilant, brother, and save your strength. As you try to call, you, you try to call out to, um, to this voice, but as you do, you are instantly thrust back into reality as another bolt of electricity courses across your body. Still aching from the past two days of torture with no indication as to why or what your captives want from you. And then all of a sudden, perhaps you are willing to talk. A familiar voice calmly approaches you. Uh, standing before you once again is the heavily armored individual from before. Uh, uh, so I say... Uh, uh, I, I'm a follower of Yomade. And I seek evil, uh, and I seek to destroy it wherever I find it. I, I think that everyone deserves a second chance. So if you untie me right now, I will give you a second chance. And I give you my word that I will not destroy you. <laughs> he slaps you across the face. Call it intimidating. Sitting <laughs> on the ground in front of you and just saying, you call yourself a worshiper of the Yomade. Why were you in the prison of... Darleth. I was there to stop him. I, I killed him. He chuckles <laughs> at you and slaps you again. You cannot kill him with mortal weapons. Why were you in the prison? Why did you release him? I did not mean to release him, but I mean to right that wrong. And I will, I will put an end to him. As you I, say just need, this, I just need the means. As you say this, he kind of chuckles to himself and signals one of the other um, uh, guards to shoot another bolt of electricity through your body. And he just says, uh, he, he turns and walks out of the room with the two guards. Leave him be. We'll, we shall push him further in the morning. And he just I... walks out of the room. I want you okay. to roll uh, just a fortitude save. Fortitude save, okay. You die from the torture. <laughs> Dean. Okay, you take... You take seven points of damage throughout the whole two days of being tortured. Okay, uh, I can't change my HP because I can't see my character, but okay. Just keep it on record. Okay. Okay. Now we go back to the other party members. Can I during can I, the early part, <laughs> Can I just double check quickly what that guy's name was again? That I uh, released. Uh, yeah, it's Darlath. Darlath. Okay, thank you. D a r l a t h. So we go back to the other party members, and uh, uh, at the point that they finish torturing Dunstan, it's about early evening. And about the same time as this happens, a hooded figure walk the hooded figure from before walks back into the prison room. He kind of turns to the guards and signals them to leave. He walks forward and approaches you all and says, I mean you no harm I mean you no harm, adventurers, but you must trust me. We have little time and the guards won't be away for too long. He kind of at this point he pulls his hood back, revealing um, uh, brownish grey hair parted in the centre of his head. It's about um, kind of a, just above ear length in terms of how long his hair is. And he has a long brown gray beard under his chin. Um, he's got a short brownish, um, sorry. Uh, he kind of, as you can see, he's got these really, really deep blue eyes, unusually deep blue. And he kind of says, my name is Aldrin and I'm here to help. Okay. Um, do we? We don't recognise him at all. I've not seen him before. No, you you we, can ask him that the guy he was the hooded figure from yeah. before, but you've never seen this guy before. Okay. Um, so I uh, 
I stand up from from sitting down in the cell and uh, and meet walk over to the front of my cell um, and meet his eyes and say uh, why why are we imprisoned here? Where is Dunstan? The paladin. He is being tortured at this moment. Why? And because you've let loose the dark jester Dalath. Sorry, not the dark jester. The 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 lich Dalath. But why are you I torturing Dunstan? <laughs> we aren't taught Well, our order is torturing him because he's let loose a dangerous evil upon this world. But I do not believe that to be so. I think it was merely an accident as to why you were there. You do not seem like the kind of people that would make their way into such a place and release such an evil. Then free us. I need to... I need to have your trust before I can free you. I trust you. Free us. <laughs> he, turns, he turns to the rest of the party, looking towards Kano. You trust me. Of course, I just, it. I just want to point out, I have my fingers crossed behind my back when I say I trust you, <laughs> and I kind of don't really meet his eyes. I see. What was Kano's answer, sorry? Yeah, of course. The guy's got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> guy's got a beard. He's trustworthy. As, uh, as you both uh, say this and the rest of the party nod in agreement, he kind of nods back and pulls from under his belt um, a keychain and unlocks your cells one by one. Uh, he hands you the key to unlock Ray, and you run over and unlock him from his little cage. Okay, as I as I do that, um, I'd like to ask him, what about our equipment, our weapons? They've they've stored it away. We must go get that on the way out. But we need, we must be stealthy, and quiet. Fun. Okay, I'm I'm very stealthy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and as I say that, I knock over the birdcage. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of he kind of looks over to you and raises an eyebrow, and kind of says, "Shh." And yes. Kind of leads you both. As I say, raising my yes, I know stealth. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> he then kind of takes you all and leads you out of the cell block into the corridor. And now we jump back to Mr. Dunstan. You've been left alone in this cell now for approximately 10, 15 minutes. And you are feeling very sore, very bad, and very bruised from your two days of torture. Okay, um, am I in a cell that in the same place that they were torturing me? Yes, you, I... were, you were still chained up in this. It's like a cell slash torture room, <laughs> and you're just basically kind of chained against this wall. Okay, like you were standing, kind of like slouching, with all your body weight being pulled down on your arms, as these two manacles are like clasped around your wrists and holding you against this wall. And there are various, diplomacy, some bitches. Various implements around the room, designed for torture. Okay. Um, but what a great holy order! Ten, fifteen minutes. I know. <laughs> about ten or fifteen minutes, and you hear the sound of the door latch being opened. Um, as you prepare yourself for another round of torture, um, a woman kind of peers around the door and says, "Please, do not be afraid. I'm here to help." She uh, has mid-length kind of reddish, brownish hair. Um, half of it is shaved. Nice. And she has like a single braid kind of going across it with a metal loop at the end. I get a half erection, and I <laughs> I want to do a sense motive check. I want to basically try to find out hey, baby. if she's try it's, see if she's trying anything on if she's trying to like play good cop bad cop sort of thing. Okay, go for it. Sense motive. Natural 20, what? which is what? Natural 20. Nice. I want your life story. I want your <laughs> national insurance number. She immediately <laughs> sleeps with you. <laughs> um, so, based on this first impression, you think she's 100%. And, and obviously, your um, aura of holiness is aiding you in this. Okay. And you think she's 100% genuine. She's there to help you. 
she is very honest in her voice and like her movements and her body language. She's very um, driven and she's there to help you. Okay. That's so, what we feel. Okay. Um, uh, I ask her like in, in quite a, like a low tone, like, are you here to free me? She nods and she says, yes, but we haven't much time. I'm about to, uh, I've set a series of fires off all around this building, but we need to leave now. As she runs across to you, you get a better look at her armor, and she is wearing um, a set of full plate armor with the same sigil imprinted upon it as the other people that were torturing you. Okay. Um, as um, she's undoing my stuff, I kind of ask her, like, are you from this same order that's been torturing me? She looks up to you and kind of, she has a bit of a grimace in her face, and she says, yes, I'm part of the order, but... I really shouldn't explain here. Uh, I'll get you out, and we'll, I'll explain once we freed you and your friends. Okay. Uh, um, at least, at least, tell me your name. She looks up to you and smiles and says, "My name is Ariana, and I'm tasked with getting you out of this place." She kind of unlocks your shackles and pulls you down. You kind of slump down a little bit, having uh, not really been able to use your full body in a while. And kind of, she catches you as as you fall, and you sense that she's a very, very strongly built woman as she like lifts you up with ease. Nice. Um, can I, as soon as I hit the ground, can I cast lay on hands on myself? If you want to. Yeah, yeah. I can use three per day. Uh, okay. It is one d six points, healing me one point one d six points of damage. Okay. Roll a. Fucking hell, man. That's always done, boy. So <laughs> you're only missing one health from there, right? Yes. Okay. And I've used one of my lay on hands. Okay, cool. So um, where we land on the ground, can I, uh, just before we leave, can I take a quick look around to see if there's any um, uh, torture equipment laying around that I might be able to use as a weapon? Maybe um, some sort of swords or anything? Potentially made of platinum. Okay, okay so... Uh, <laughs> Perception, I have zero bonus for perception. It's all right. You're old max anyway, aren't you? Oh my G Okay, Nailed yeah. It. Uh, so it looks like a room. Yeah, guys, I, this looks like a room. I tried to prick yeah, up the a... bricks on the floor, but I realized they make up the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so you quickly glance around the room in, in the limited time you have, and as you look around, you can see um, just various small torture implements. You sense that they wouldn't be very useful in, much, in a fight, so you kind of just leave them there. Okay, no problem. Um, so I, I, I whisper to her, uh, lead on, uh, I'm able to travel. Okay, so um, she kind of like catches you on, on one of her shoulders and starts pulling you out of the room. And as you uh, start okay. pulling you out, you hear like an um, uh, alarm kind of bell ringing in the, in the distance and some horns going off. And she kind of looks over to you and like as she's pushing you out of the doorway, indicating that you must now run on your own feet, um, that the fires have been set and they know something's amiss. Okay, no problem. I should be so able to run both, off to heal him. You, pull, you both cautiously hustle down a dimly lit passageway. Okay. Uh, we bounce back to the other party members. Aldrin is quietly leading you both out of the prison down a, a dimly lit corridor. And as you make it to a small set of stairs, at the base of the stairs, you all hear these the bells ringing and the horns going off. And he kind of like looks with a sign, uh, a sense of um, confusion. He's like, "What the? Quickly, this way!" And he kind of like hus hurries you up these stairs and down a narrow corridor. Um, and you're kind of running down this corridor, and in front of you is what looks to be a balcony overlooking the keep. And as you make your way across this balcony, you can see now out in the courtyard plumes of smoke billowing up across the keep itself, with men frantically trying to put out the fires uh, below you. Um, and as you kind of come out onto this balcony, you all kind of glance around. Um, you guys give me a perception check. Uh, <clears throat> perception, perception. Oh god. Um, Richie? Okay, so both mm. Ragnar and Kana, 
don't really pay attention, but Mabrin, you can see uh, in the corner of your eye, on the other side of the balcony, um, a familiar face. Um, you see Dunstan kind of walking out through a, a doorway, and his gaze meets both of yours. And before you can say anything, Aldrin kind of turns and says, You! And Ariana bull rushes past all of you and punches him. And he kind of falls, uh, loses his balance and falls and plummets off the edge of this, this balcony, off this walkway. And he kind of falls into the courtyard below um, and you just hear screams of pain. And as you run up to the edge looking over, you can see Aldrin writhing in agony as he's being burned alive in some fire below. Oh, he's been burned alive like there's nothing we could do. Like he's basically fallen off this like 40 foot drop, hit the floor into like a huge like cart that's on fire. And as he fell through the cart, you can just hear screams of pain from within this cart. Wow. Cool. So, um, so I, I run up to Ariana. I say, what, what, what are you doing? Why did you kill that man? Yeah. Like the she looks at you angrily and says, he was a traitor and he was planning to have you all executed. Please, we have not much time. I must get you out of safety now, all of you. I say, uh, he, he freed us. Why would he free us just to lead us? He, he already had us captured. He was leading you to your death. He was buying your allegiance and taking you away to have you executed. For what purpose? Who are you? How can we trust you? I'm here to save you. That's what he said. She did free me, guys. He freed us! I know, I know, but what choice this do we have right now? Very confusing. We need, to, we need to leave. We need to leave. Please, you are all unarmed, and we're about to be swarmed upon by guards. I must get you out to safety right now. Uh, I look at Dunstan and, and sort of meet his eyes and just say, Are you sure we can trust her? You're the one who's been travelling with her. Absolutely not, but we have no choice. We stay and fight unarmed against however, who knows how many guards, or we leave with this woman. We not leave without I think, her? I think that... I think... You would not do well to leave without me. You have no weapons, and you do not know these lands. Okay, you need to at least tell us a part of your plan. Like, wh where are you taking us? You have to understand how difficult it is to trust uh, trust you after watching you just murder someone that helped us. I understand. Us. I understand. But you have to trust me right now. I will explain everything once we are safe. I promise. Does and she have any as, weapons? As she says this, you can hear some guards shouting from the distance. Hey, there they are. Over there. We must get to the prisons quickly. Um, she only has one weapon. Okay. Her own um, weapon. I say to her, give Dunstan your weapon and walk in front of us. And then I will trust you. She declines. I cannot do this. We should push her off the ledge. You, ca <laughs> you cannot give me your weapon as a sign of mutual trust. I would Dunstan, we should you. kill her! <laughs> I mean no disrespect, but I'm a better fighter than you. Oh, I, I doubt it, <laughs> bitch. I doubt it. <laughs> Someone better hold me back. Did you kill Darlath with one hit? Give him your mace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you, guys. You I keep think... Darlath in a weakened state. You must believe me. I am to take you to see one of the elders in the sanctuary. Okay, Please, guys. You must follow me. I'm, I'm saying we should follow her unless anyone has any strong objections. I don't think we've got much of a choice. I'll say a quick prayer for Alderan and I guess move on. Yep. Okay, I don't like it, but she walks in front of us. Yep, okay. Uh, lead lead on, well. Ariana. Very well. She kind of pulls you alongside the walkway, back to where you guys were coming from, and up um, over the wall, behind where you came through, is a kind of rope ladder. She kind of indicates that you all climb up over this rope ladder, and as you do, you kind of climb over it, over the side of the wall of this, this gigantic keep, and you kind of like shimmy down, and you are now on the outside, outer walls of this, this keep, um, she kind of cuts the rope ladder so as not to have any suspicion and kind of falls down herself. Um, and she leads you through the snow away from the castle, the keep. Okay. Um, okay. Um, as we're walking away from the keep, I just sort of pester her and say, what about our gear? All of our equipment? <laughs> Did you not have you. a plan for getting that? I have a plan. I already have your gear. It is safely stowed away. I promise. I do not it trust this person. It is about a 30-minute trek. It's, it's a, I've, I've, I've got it safely stowed in a cave approximately 30 minutes away from where we are. 
splendid. And as now- you're saying this, <laughs> snow begins to fall. Okay, uh, now that our Ariana, now that we're outside, and hopefully the guards can't follow, you need to explain to us what's going on. She kind of sighs um, and kind of pulls you guys kind of like under a little outcropping. Um, and she kind of says, I, I do believe I owe you an explanation. As I have said, my name is Ariana. And I've been sent here by the Enclave of the Elders. Uh, as they felt the seal of the prison was broken, uh, uh, judging by the orb now following you, I would be inclined to agree as she gestures towards the orb hovering above Dunstan's shoulder. Uh, I am part of a secret order, and it is our oath sworn to protect the realm against the Lich Daleth. But for some years now, we have sensed corruption within the ranks. Aldrin, the, the gentleman who freed you from the prison, he was actually sent here to kill your party, uh, ensuring that the sphere would be lost and Daleth would then be free to enslave all of Alora. Is, is this sphere... Can, I, can this sphere be reused to re-imprison Daleth? I do not know, but I am to take you to the Enclave of the Elders. They will know what to do with it. What? I think they believe so. Okay. Okay. Um, what? Uh, so her order is called the Enclave of the Elders. Is it? Or was it the Enclave no, of the no, Elders? No, 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 no. Okay. What's the her order? What's the name of your order? <laughs> we are known as the Brotherhood of the Shield. Uh, that I just like to point out is in an amazing name. Whoever came up with that name is uh, fired. Thank you. It's not as good as uh, as a humor day, obviously, but it's it's up there. It's pretty good. And we we already know, I assume, that we haven't heard of this from all of our previous um, knowledge checks and religion checks. Um, like, well, you haven't actually done anything. The only thing Dunstan knows about this thing is that it's kind of a very widespread order, but they don't really know much about it. Okay. I would like to use my knowledge arcana to see if um, any mention of an ancient order dedicated to imprisoning a lich was ever mentioned. Okay, go for it. Right sheet, where's the right sheet? Uh, Plus four. Um, so I'm, I'm presuming that you read scrolls and things to get this kind of knowledge, right? It's not innate to your character. Yeah, no, it's it's not innate to my character. I would have come across it like researching um, imprisonment, like things to do with okay. imprisoning magical beings. Okay, so um, you kind of recognize the name. You're not really sure what from. Um, but you know, linked to it is a deity that has long since died. Like you've heard rumors of a deity dying, and you feel this is very unusual because this is not something that happens. Um, but you, 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 you remember that being stuck in your mind because this. This is a very unusual thing that happens. Okay. Um, I I ask Connor. I say, have you heard? Have you ever heard of a deity giving its own life to be able to imprison something, or to create a prison from its own death? Not as far as I'm aware. No. I think that that might be possibly what's happening. Uh, what happened? Perhaps uh, a deity gave its life to a prison Daleth. As, but I've as not, you guys, I've not heard anything. As you guys are um, discussing this, Ariana kind of um, sighs and says, "Yes, uh, our order worships the long lost deity Ganarius, the fallen Bastion. He sacrificed himself to create the orb, the one that you are now carrying with you to seal Daleth away many, many years ago." Uh, what? Who? Who was it? Did you say the? Who's the fallen bastion? Ganarius, 
Ganarius. G-A-N-A-R-I-U-S. Uh, wow. Okay. He's thing of legend, and this happened many, many thousands of years ago. Okay. So, on a slightly more practical note, you still have given us no sign we can trust you over Aldrin, the man you just murdered. Why should we believe anything that you say? Because I am just and true. And I am to take you, and I will accompany you. As, as she says, and just and true, you. like, I massively roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and Ray rolls his eyes as well, one at a time. <laughs> me, uh, me and Connor just lapping it up. We're just like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this girl gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, Ariana, how how far is it to uh, to until we get to this cave where we can get our weapons? I'm feeling um, very uneasy without my equipment. Um, I would guess another twenty five minute trek, and it's in this direction, shall we? And she kind of gestures towards the north. I think I think until we get our equipment, you need to you need to lead on. She nods very well, and she kind of like trudges through the snow. While she knows the snow's falling, and she just says, um, "This is very fortuitous that the snowfall uh, is it will cover our tracks and make it harder for them to track us." Um, while okay. she's leading us to wherever she's leading us to, I'd like Ray to fly ahead, um, like up high, you know, like a bird would. Um, and just <laughs> <laughs> rather than like low to the ground, <laughs> it's up nice and high. Um, and just scout ahead for any um, any traps um, in the form of you know groups of people, um, suspicious clearings, okay. that kind of thing. Let's let's get a, a ray perception check. It's gonna be good. He's a beast. He's literally a beast. <laughs> <laughs> So it kind of like soars off in the distance. He's a good, you know, like 500 feet ahead of you, looking around and flapping around. And, and he comes back to you, and he tells you that he's not seen any um, <clears throat> traps or anything that it would indicate otherwise. Um, he tells you that there's a road kind of not too far away from where you are, uh, and he, he thinks it's the actual road that took you to Todia itself. And he said that there is a traveler along this road. Mm. Okay. And you're kind of heading in that direction anyway. Okay, I think we should uh, investigate. I think we should go. Um, we so we yeah we we keep all this kind of quiet from Ariana, I guess, because obviously I can understand Ray because he speaks common. So. Because Ariana is walking ahead of us, we. I should point out with Ariana Ray. is also human. Yeah, but Ray okay. would like land on my shoulder and just kind of whisper it to me, and then I'd casually side yeah, I'm, I'm, to Dunstan. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm there. Yeah, and Ray's whisper it to him, to us. lovingly. So, yeah, I think we should. Um, we we really need to get our equipment. After we get our equipment, um, if she means to do us harm, we can probably deal with her. But for now, I think we should follow her just to get our equipment. She seems genuine, other than the fact that she literally murdered someone that was helping us. Directly in front of our eyes. Follow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's good that you trust this woman who pushed a man don't into his her. literal burning death. I need my equipment. Because she said, I am just and true. Okay, you are so an yeah, we continue. <laughs> we continue onwards. So you kind of spend the next 10 minutes or so trudging towards this road. As you make your way to this road, you can see um, probably about, at this point, 150 feet in front of you, there is what appears to be an elf uh, with long black hair, just kind of like fumbling around on the side of a road. Well, can I, can as, I, as we can approach... I take I a just... look and see what he's doing. As you, you, you walk closer and closer, and you're about 50 feet away from it at this point. And he kind of like notices you and kind of calls over and says, Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, who are you? 
What are you doing? Why, why are you fumbling around on the side of the road? Uh, I was in the snow, and it, it's really slippery here, guys. <laughs> watch, your, watch your step. I like... <laughs> I spin to Ariana, and I'm like, who is this? Is he with you? Are you leading us into a trap? <laughs> she looks as bewildered as you guys. Even more so. She has absolutely no idea. I, just, I have no idea who this gentleman is. He looks Please. like a traveling trader or, or maybe some kind of uh, juggler. I, I don't know. Do you juggle, sir? What? Uh, I dabble. I am <laughs> a massive fan of juggling. If you could do some juggling, I, that, would, that would do me. Um, I would like to try and do some prestidigitation and create some snowballs and juggle them. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Shall we make this like a straight up dexterity check to see if you can actually juggle? Sure. <laughs> so... <laughs> I have to do Nailed slash it. roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can use you can use the thing on the side as well. Uh, you kind of you kind of. Press it, digitate like three or four snowballs, and as you start juggling them, you're a little bit clumsy, but you, you actually maintain the juggle. Wow, that's amazing. You are <laughs> uh, amazing. I don't well, really um, don't. I mean, sarcasm's not. I really don't like it, guys. I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Again, I you, love like, it. you see Mabrin just roll his eyes as seven snowballs spin in a really complex pattern around his head. <laughs> um, like Rodo, 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 literally Rodo anyone can do this <laughs> no, he, but he's actually juggling them not like making them float that's the skill part <laughs> so I ask him uh, what, why are you out here alone and uh, yeah, just, wh where are you going just, you just for like scenario's sake Rolo at this point you are looking at four, not five Semi-naked, beaten-up <laughs> individuals. And a woman and a in armor. <laughs> armed woman. Um, I'm, and a raven. I'm not alone. I'm, I've got my friends right over there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Can I sense motive on him to see if he's lying? Mm -hmm. All righty, let's do this. Sense motive. Twenty-one. I'm pretty sure he's lying through his teeth. Uh, doesn't he have to like counter my roll with a bluff roll? Oh, you can because actually. He's trying, yeah. he's trying to lie to me. That's true. Well, you do. My bluff is minus two, so there's literally no way I can beat that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, if you roll a, a natural twenty, Mark might. Okay. Be... Yeah. Yeah. Well, see okay. if, you roll, if you get a natural twenty. If you do now, this is gonna be amazing. Why is it? <laughs> Not even close. He, he's like shifting and shaking and a little bit afraid of you guys. And he's like, oh, my, my uh, friends, they're right there. And, and all there is is like empty space, nothing. It okay. just goes on. The snowman. <laughs> just the snowman, yeah. <laughs> One you built earlier. You press it to in a snowman. Uh, so we, we, have, uh, we don't have time to, to dilly dally around. We really have to have important matters to, to be dealing with. Um, what, what is your name? Uh, my name is Rolo. Uh, I'm really quite lost. If you could at least show me the way back to town or some semblance of civilization, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. So uh, my, my name is Dunstan, and I'm a paladin. And these are my friends, uh, Mabrin, Akana, and Ragmore. And we are being accompanied by Ariana here. Uh, we're being accompanied to, up to a cave so that we can get our belongings back because, as, as you can see, we're all kind of semi naked. Yeah, uh, I, you don't need to explain to me. Thursday uh, night, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the light is glistening off the curves on Karna's body. And I'm like, <laughs> no, no. How did the light? God damn. His I, semi I, is I know, now. So... I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 semi. I'm a human first. I got needs, all right. <laughs> a human first 
a follower later. I don't think that's how it works. I, uh, I think I, I think I should uh, make a roll for this, shouldn't I? Well, I didn't do anything. I'm allowed to like it. Just you have fallen. It. You are now a fallen paladin. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me think. You you stole Mithril I all, strike one. Not. You are the worst paladin. I will get it back. <laughs> Released an ancient evil. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Released an ancient evil. I'm going to fix it. That's not even the worst. Uh, but also, uh, Jaden is also there, kind of in the back being an emo. Okay. Yeah, and, and this is our friend Jaden as well. He likes to not say much, and he likes to stealth around a lot as well. Also, uh, don't so yeah, we're on our way to get our equipment. really deeply. <sighs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're on our way to get our equipment, and then we'd be happy to take you back to town. Um, if you do want, would you like to accompany us? That would be great. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Can you show me that juggling one more time? That was uh, so cool. Yeah, sure. Just one second. <laughs> oh, oh, natural that one. one. That, was a... oh, that was a D10. That was a D10. Oh. Okay. So this time, this time, not only is he juggling his own things, but Maybrin's kind of in the corner and he's like, he doesn't like this guy a little bit. He's out of spite. He's like taking the shining the, the spotlight away from him. So he kind of throws more snowballs at him. And as he does this, he catches them and juggles those two. That's amazing. Wow, Rolo, you're amazing. This is literally <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> this is the best feat of magic I have ever seen. And I look at Maybrin and I go, ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you kind of... He just like uh... turns and walks up and says, Come on, guys, we need to get going. <laughs> We're wasting time. Put the, Just put the snowballs down. Wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of like walks off in a fluster towards the direction that Ariana <laughs> indicated towards. And you guys kind of like make your way across. Okay. <clears throat> you were walking for another 10 minutes or so. It's kind of like slightly off the, the, the pathway, the road that you just came from. And you make your way uh, to what appears to be a small indentation in the side of the mountain. Oh, that looks non ominous. Nominous? Yeah, it looks anonymous. <laughs> so um, I just run all the way to the back of the cave. I, I don't do that. I don't do that. Oh, we're huge. Oh, there we go. Reduced person. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to be not shrunk? Uh, this is Ariana, by the way. So you guys kind of make it towards this cave. Um, and Ar Ariana just is here. It's just in there, hidden around the corner. Uh, as you guys kind of make your way through um, about 10, 15 feet in the cave, uh, under some a pile of snow, under a rag, is all of you guys' gear. Nice. Uh, so we need to go inside to get it, right? Yeah. So you make your way in and you kind of set yourself up, put some clothes back on. And you were... Okay. Takes How you far about am I 15 going minutes in? or so? Right there. Like that's where the, the oh, view is right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we got just all left it on the outside. Sweet. Rolo's still unsure why you're all naked and your possessions are in a cave. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not naked yet. Yeah. Okay, um, so yes. yeah, I, I come back out with my shiny. I don't have any armor because I don't have any armor yet. Uh, I have like an outfit and a flail, <laughs> pretty much. And I just say, yeah, so um, yeah, Rolo, I don't know if you noticed this uh, cool <laughs> basketball sized sphere, sphere following me around. Uh, his name is uh, Steve. Yeah, that's, a, that's he... a god. Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, basically, we we are adventurers, and we accidentally freed a lich called Darlath, and we mean to try to either kill him or re-imprison him, as he is pure evil, and he means to do harm to a great number of people. Uh, so we're going to be traveling, trying to stop him. Rolo looks uh, Dunstan in the eyes, his lips quivering, 
and Dunscan can see that in his eyes, Rolo immediately regrets this decision. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we, you, you look quite uneasy about this information, uh, which is fair enough. Uh, we, we will take you to town, and you can, you can, you're free to make your decision from there. Um, Mabrin just catches his eye and says, uh, "Just so you know, being seen with us." has probably already marked you for death by the <laughs> Brotherhood of the Shield, the traitors within it. So, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, Ariana right. kind of looks across and nods and says, it could entirely be possible. <laughs> oh, okay. Rolo figures he might as well make the most of it. He's got friends now. <laughs> <laughs> Not snow friends, <laughs> real friends. <laughs> Authentic friends. Okay, so... so yeah, uh, what are you going to do? What's the so I, I look to Ariana and I say, um, is there anything else you've got in store for us? Or... Uh, she looks across to you and says, well, I need to take you uh, to Stoneport, and then I need to take you across the ocean. So we wow. meet the uh, Enclave of Elders. Okay, so uh, uh, do we do we have a, a time frame restraint on this? Can we uh, can we stop by the town first? We can. We have to go that way anyway. We need to find transport to Stoneport. Okay. Uh, even with transport, it's a good three days journey, as you uh, as you guys know, because you came from Stoneport to this town. Like that's that's the trip you took, like when you originally came here. Yeah. Um, and she's, he, but as soon as possible, the sooner we can get you to see the Elder Enclave, the better. Okay. Um, so I noticed I just... that this cave looks like it goes a bit deeper. <laughs> like, could we maybe investigate that? You sure can try. Uh, Mabrin, how uh, do you think we can do something to take a look down that cave? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna send Ray to uh, to scout out the cave. Okay. So I just just send him off to have a little look, just to see how deep I'm it goes. Gonna, okay, I'm gonna let you uh, control the Ariana as well. Me? Uh, it's easier than me controlling it and all the stuff I need to do. Okay, broke a little bit, and uh, so I'm controlling myself right more and Ariana. Yeah. yeah I control JC. <laughs> is everybody else breaking up, or is it just me? Yeah, for me. Yeah, I'm breaking up too. Okay. Maybe use roll twenty? I might be roll twenty. No, maybe use roll twenty instead. Seems to be fine again, man. Yeah, yeah it seems okay. I think it was just a dip. It's fine. Yep. Cool, okay. cool. Yeah, so you did you say which ones have I got a control mark? Uh you can control Ragmore, Ariana, and Jace if you wish. Uh, I don't want to control any of them. But I will control all of them. I'll just do them all as a block, like this. <laughs> How a tank moves. Yep. Actually, I can probably get some formation going here. We could always split them out amongst the rest of the party if you want. If you don't want to control them all. That's, That's okay. I'll just I'll build a formation and then I'll just move the formation around. Okay. So what's going on? Uh, so Ray is just going to have a quick look at the, around the corner of the cave just to make sure, or just see what's there, make sure we're not about to get ambushed by... I still don't trust this woman, so I'm suspicious of the cave. Um, what is the light situation like? Uh, it, does it look like pitch black in there? Uh, it's like um, the snowish areas is kind of dim light, and it kind of recedes down to like very little to no light. Uh, well, we could cast light on something if we. We could, but uh, we don't really need it. Yeah. So I take out my beacon of truth, beacon of faith, beacon of what's it called? Oh, it's not what's called. I'm gonna take it out. Oh yeah, what? there's there's no favoritism in Magnus this, thing. but Bufu is higher thing. level than everyone else and has magic items. <laughs> <laughs> beacon of true faith. That's what I take out. So I take I un take it out of my armor and it goes. Whoosh, Gives me a nice aura. 
So it's a, I believe it's a 20 foot for true light, 40 foot for dim light. That's exactly right. Which 20 foot is, yeah. 40 foot dim light, yeah, perfect. Okay. Take this out, and then I, oh, nope, I need everybody. <clears throat> kind of move uh, down. I say everybody uh, kind of follow, follow me. And we'll we'll take a look. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to keep scouting ahead with Ray with perception? If possible, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to give everyone a bit of light. I'm not sure Ray's he can see visible, like how he uh, can see in dark. Yeah, he's got not dark vision, but the other thing. Infravision. No. Well, whatever it's called. Maybe it is dark. Low light vision. Low light vision. Yeah. Okay. I have that also. Okay, so he's going to check to our right first. Okay, um, as he comes in, uh, he has a little nose around, doesn't really see anything of value. Okay. Nothing uh, of significance. Cool. Okay. And then he will check in this direction. Okay, as you guess about there, mm, wait, give me one second. <laughs> so as he comes in, looks through, doesn't really see anything. He doesn't see anything yet? No, nope, nothing. That's all the distance he can see. It's about 20 foot in Because he doesn't have, like, dark vision. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he needs me to move a bit. Okay, so, cool. so I kind of follow, follow behind Ray, and we we take it, like, one square at a time. Okay. It's so, like, I'm, I'll, I'll follow, like, you know, 10 feet away behind Ray, giving him the, the dark, the low light vision he needs. I'm going to save the state of saving time and make my way through the cave. Mm -hmm. Right in the corner of the cave, you see a battered, worn chest. Okay. Okay. Um, Ray would sort of flutter down near to it and uh, just do a perception check to see if he can see any a, indications of it being a creature in disguise. <laughs> Or um, any um, like mechanisms around the latch that might be a trap. Okay. So he kind of looks, and it appears to be just an old, really battered chest. It looks like something was trying to get into it because there's like scratch marks and bite marks, and just like lots of like damage done to this chest over a long period of time. You could guess that this thing has been thrown here for a, a, quite a while, a couple of months at least. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, he relays that information okay. and flies back over to Mabron. Okay. So I guess it's. Uh, oops. I guess that it isn't trapped. Um, so, I I guess I just walk up to it and I try to open it. Okay. As you kind of like give it a tug, um, it doesn't open. It's quite stuck and it's locked. You feel it's quite locked. Okay, so I turn back and I say, hey guys, uh, can anyone pick locks? Um, I say, yes. I okay, uh, can I <laughs> sense motive to see if he's lying? <laughs> you, you sure can. You sure can. <laughs> oh. oh, God. My rolls. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can do I'm it. Pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's saying that he can do it with all his might, and you were like, you really can't. <laughs> I, I think you're lying me again. Well, you open like it then. boy who cried wolf. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I, I try to force the lock with my strength and my flail. <laughs> How do you use a flail to force a lock? 
Because I could just swing and smash the lock off. <laughs> give me, give me an attack roll. Attack roll. B. Ba, 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 ba. This. Seventeen. Ah, thirteen. That that barely hits. Yeah. Okay. Roll for damage. Okay. Didn't use power attacks. I forgot. So it is. That. 11. Okay, so as you kind of like bring the... I am assuming you're wearing this as a two-handed mace now, right? I am, yeah, sorry. I've got so a two-handed kind of flail. Like swing this over the top of your head, you kind of bring it down and strike it. It doesn't quite strike on center where you want it, but it does enough damage to loosen the lock and kind of like break it a little bit, so you can kind of kind of wriggle the lock around. And you spend about like two or three minutes kind of like weaving the metal apart and, and the lock kind of like falls to the ground. Cool. So uh, I I open it up, take a look. Okay, you pull open this chest, um, and you find within the chest itself one masterwork heavy wooden shield. Cool. Uh, you find. That. Fuck, I lost it. One second. Ten blowgun darts. I don't even know what that is, but nice. Loot. And one divine scroll passed without a trace. <sighs> nice. And there's about... Uh, about 67 gold pieces in there. All Along right. with some other like mundane items, like bits of cloth and things that have slowly kind of worn away over time. Okay, so cool. If you want to mark those down somewhere. Yep, I've got all of those. So, did you say 67 gold, yeah? Yeah, yeah, 67 gold pieces. All right, cool. So um, I take the... I'd basically turn around and say, guys, it was empty, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> what a paladin. What no, I didn't a paladin. I was a joke. I we, didn't say it. Okay, yeah. So we can see the all gold, the stuff. Dunstan. We can see you putting the gold in your pockets. It, it, it was paladin humor, guys. Come on. Guys? Anyone? <laughs> um, so I, I pick up all the heavy stuff. I put the shield in my bag. I put the 10 blow, blowgun darts in my bag. Because uh, we don't have a blowgun. Just can't use it. I don't assume no one needs a shield. Uh, Kana, do you need, would, could you use a shield? I can use a shield, yeah. Would, would you want to? Mm. I guess I will for a moment, yeah. It's up to you. you can, you're welcome to use it. I use it across both at the moment. So. Okay. All right, well, I'll hold on to it, and if you want it, just let me know. Okay. Um, and the 767 gold, uh, I go over to... Well, I basically address the group, and I say, I think that we should appoint someone uh, a treasurer, um, and I would very, very much like it to not be me, because I can't count. Uh, maybe someone more intelligent. <laughs> uh, I can do it. You could, it's fine. You, could, you could divide it if you want. It's, it's yeah, not I like could, a, but some... I can't divide either. I'm very good at division, and mm -hmm. I hold out my hand for the you gold. You break out the old tab abacus. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I basically go over and I uh, I slap it in Mayburn's hand. in the, the 67 gold. Cool, I will make a note <laughs> of it. Um, I'll keep it in a separate thing so we can like divide it up later. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, so like the, uh, the pass without a trace. Uh, so basically, I, I I hold the scroll out to Kana and I say, "Is this something which you could use? Is this something you know how to how to use? It's a divine scroll of pass without a tra trace." Yeah, I should be able to read the writings on that. Cool. So I I hand that scroll to Kana. Cool. Um, while you're discussing the shield, um, on the little on a scrap of paper, I've been just jotting down some uh, some some notes, and I quickly hand them out to everybody in the group and say, uh, "That's our contract for our adventurers group. Please sign that. All loot will be divided equally, and you can uh, <laughs> you can redeem your shares for uh, a portion of the uh, the party funds later." And I collect everybody's signatures. 
So uh, yeah, I, I look at the piece of paper and I just like burst out laughing, and then uh, we start walking out of the cave. <laughs> Dunstan <laughs> licks it and hands it back. <laughs> <laughs> so as you as you start walking out of the cave, um, everyone give me a perception check. I'm not doing perception for any of the millions of people. No, no. I've got I, I, I won't bother. I'll, I'll just do Ariana's. Those are my two. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa. So, uh, where are we? From... The best time to get one. <laughs> 22 is pretty good. <laughs> so, Dunstan is still quite enthralled and happy that he just found a masterwork shield. He's like, oh, this is pretty good. Can we, can pretty I, good I, I'd like to learn how to juggle. We just got our gear back, and <laughs> we escaped, and we got a masterwork wooden shield. This is really And good. a new friend. And a new friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ariana. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I assume that Ray is the second roll. Yeah. Uh, no, Ross Ray was the first roll. Second. Ray was the first roll. Okay, so you are equally enthralled with now being appointed the treasurer and handing everyone's notes out and getting the signatures back. I'm like rolling Where the gold you? across my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is now aware of a trembling sound and some kind of groaning. It doesn't sound too far away. It's a deep-throated kind of Frollo uh, begins to whimper and backs away slowly. Uh, guys? <laughs> guys? What's, What's wrong? What's wrong, Rollo? Uh, I, I think there's something around the corner. Yeah, the entrance to the cave. What's up? No, I can hear. <laughs> I can hear something. We're not alone in here. Oh, okay. Okay, Is it the jingle uh, of money. Let's check it out. I think that um. If there, if there is anything, I think we would do better outside than inside if we wanted to fight it. Are we thinking it's coming uh, from outside? The noise, sorry. It, well, we're at the back, so it can only be coming from outside, I guess. Unless it smashes through a wall or something. But either way, I think it's best, if possible, for us to try and get outside. I think if it smashes through a so, wall, we um, are fucked. Yeah. So <laughs> I think we should need to get in formation. So I go, me, me and Ragmo go up front, and I ask Ariana... To, to go in front of us. <laughs> she kind of rolls her eyes and is like... She has the armor. Talking. She's the only one with armor on. <laughs> Ragmore has his armor too. Oh, my, yeah, can but... I please get that armor off Ariana? Somehow. <laughs> Whoa, you're a paladin, mate. Calm Ariana. <laughs> paladin. Keep it in your Hold pants. Yourself. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> Ariana, go first and uh, call call us when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> when it's done. If you could kill the thing and then just give us the experience, that would be nice. Also the loot. Yeah, yeah. So no, basically, basically, we all we all move in this formation that we're in now. So we move <laughs> one square at a time, um, and then I kind of perceive in what we can. I keep keep being a true faith out so we can see. We okay. move one square at a time in this formation. Okay. So um, I'm going to say you get to about here where the light starts shining through the cave okay and at this point the sounds are very apparent to all of you it sounds like um a really deep groaning sound grunts and, and that kind of sounds can we tell which direction the sound is coming from you can get a perception jack and find out yeah, oh my guys my perception is terrible 12. well that's kind of an yeah you kind of feel that the sound is definitely coming from outside and billowing in towards the cave. Okay, cool. So, uh, 60, feet, 60 feet. I start concentrating on Detect Evil in a cone straight out this way, like this. Okay. To try and see if I can detect any evil presence. Okay. How long are you going to be channeling this? Uh, it's like a concentration thing, so I can just... Okay. There's, there's no limit. I can just well, right now constantly you do really, it. You, you don't really sense anything in that area. Okay. It's only evil as well. It, it has to be specifically evil. Okay, cool. Yep. So I don't sense any, anything evil in this area. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I guess we keep going out. We have no choice. We have to get out of the cave eventually. Perhaps we could try and see what it is. So now I'm assuming we can see out of the cave. So I put my beacon of true faith away. Yeah, you can see. 
Okay. And you can see in the distance some trees beginning to shake, the snow falling down off the trees. I mean, your vision is fairly obscured anyway because there is a snowstorm kind of rolling in. Okay. But you can make out in the distance some trees shaking and snow falling off them. Um, I'd just like to turn to Ariana quickly and say, do you have any idea what this is? You chose to use this cave. She's panting and she's like, the only reason I used this cave is because it was on my way. I, I, I acted quickly. And I feel we need to get out of here. I have no idea what this is. Uh, uh, I turn to Rolo and I say, like, you you, you were here. Uh, do, you, uh, do you know what this might be? Did you see anything? Before you guys showed up, I hadn't seen another soul around here for hours. What about your friends? They don't have souls, Dunstan. They were snowmen. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really so... don't know what it could be. Do we want to try and go out there and try and fight this thing, or do we want to maybe camp in here, wait the storm out? Uh, given the state of the chest, I'm assuming that whatever it is has been in here before, if it doesn't layer in here regularly. Well, it's wait, wait, wait. not as strong as me. Rollo had a 22 perception, right? I did back then, in the cave, yeah. In the cave. So you would have noticed as well that there are bits of bone-like fragments and materials Brilliant. strewn around inside the cave. Uh, something we definitely lives in this cave, guys. Yeah. Okay, so we, are, we need we to get always out. in the feeding layer of monsters. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we need to get out. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, we stay in the same formation. I put my beacon of true faith away, so we're less conspicuous. And less we... conspicuous in daylight. Yeah, <laughs> in a snowstorm, yeah. La the... Like, if, uh, the, if that guy looks yeah. over into this cave... He's going to see a big light inside the cave. Um, so so as we... you start making your way out, what, what's going on? I was just going to ask, are we going to try and like get out of here quickly and hide? Um... Uh, I think that we, we definitely have to get out either way, but maybe we can just try and see what it is and then decide at that point. What do you guys think? That sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, so we want to try and move in, a, in our formation this way. Um, until we get outside and maybe like try and reach up to this. Uh, okay, well, make, you. make your movements and figure out where you want to be stood. Once we arrive. Yeah. Okay, so I want to get up here and I want Ariana on the end, and then every everyone else pretty much up like behind up up here. You need someone say, with good perception um, to just just try and look and see what it is. I can um I can always raise an illusion, uh along sort of here, or here, to make it look like part of the rock face that we can see out of, but it wouldn't initially be able to see us, whatever it is. The rumbling of the ground starts getting louder. Okay, something's coming. Sounds uh, good to me, Mabrin. Cool, okay, so I will use one of my level 1 spells and cast Silent Image. Okay. Um, and I will raise... I'll make it look like all of this is just part of the rock face. Um, just that side? No, I mean, I can probably... Oh, wait, no, I'm limited by size, aren't I? Hang on, what's the size? Uh, color spray, silent image. Oh, silent image is huge, it's like uh, 10... Four yeah, or 10 foot cubes. Yeah, yeah, it's plus quite big, one isn't it? Per level. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, so you so, can make a wall. So if we, so if we all back there, against the wall... And there. And if I've got this, okay. Could you split it? Do you think? Oh, uh, mm. fair enough. I'll, I'll let you split it. It'll be more interesting. Well, I was going to say, I mean, it, I could do across. potentially all of all of that without splitting it. It would just include that this uh, this outcropping. Okay, that's yeah, that's fair enough. Um, what so was I going to say? Sort of. Can can you you guys presumably really can see out of it as well, right? Yes. Yeah. We can we can see out of it. It's just an illusion. Um, yeah. So it, it's an illusion. Uh, the whatever it is would need to interact with the wall. Um. And okay. What's so, pass a willpower save. Can, can, can they perceive it? The, the only thing that happens, Mark, right? That they, they see the illusion, and they, uh, if they interact with it, they have to yeah. make a will save and throw. If they fail, if they succeed that throw, then they disbelieve the illusion. If so they if don't it, like, interact with it, yeah. If it tried to they don't touch it, it or whatever, okay. Then it would, uh, it would need so, to make a will save. So you, you kind of like concentrate for a few seconds. Okay, you concentrate for a few seconds and. 
uh, you throw up this wall that kind of like emulates the the surrounding rock face, kind of encompassing you guys and kind of sealing you away. You kind of just waiting there patiently. On, uh, about thirty seconds pass, and the tree line that's about two fifty feet in front of you, kind of where, where the tree line begins, you see emerge from this tree line this huge-looking ice troll, kind of like lumbering through, and behind him he's kind of dragging this like half-beaten death ram. It's oh, well, it's dead, but it's a beaten down ram, and it's like dragging it behind him towards the cave. How big like, does it look? Really slowly. It's probably compared about, to me. Hmm. well, I'm assuming you're about six foot tall. Yep, yep. The troll itself is about 14 foot. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. I can deal with that. Dragging this, like, beaten down, killed ram behind it. Okay. So is it is it making a, its way towards us? Yep, it's, it, it appears to have not noticed you, and it's just kind of lumbering towards the cave, just in the direction of the cave. Okay, is it far enough away that we can safely whisper to each other? Without... Yeah, it, it, uh, right now it's about 250 foot away. Okay. I say, uh, guys, I think we could uh, we could potentially kill this. Uh, it looks like it's a bit of a scourge in these parts. It looks like it's killing the wildlife. Who uh, cares? Let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. What's happening? It's a troll. <laughs> It's a big ice troll, and it's walking towards the cave, but we're kind of hidden at the moment. Shh. I think we could we could <laughs> potentially kill kill this. It might be the safest way as well, because if we try and run, it might p- perceive us. And right now we have the jump on it. Yeah, I think when it, we wait for it to get really close, and uh, we'll jump jump it. I wonder if uh, if we could get bless beforehand from Kana. Um, just quickly, is the, do you know if there's a way of tracking your current spells or spells cast in PC Gen? Uh, not that I found, no. Okay. It's okay. really annoying, I know. I, I don't like that. Rolo looks to his left and right and waits for everyone else to nod that we're about to kill a troll. I'm uh, I'm done. <laughs> this is why are you letting this idiot make the decisions? <laughs> he can't count. He can kill. <laughs> what 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 are the You're options? Not even a real paladin. <laughs> I am a paladin. He keeps trying to have sex with these two women. I what? If I wanted, to, mate. He has He's stolen everything place, in his right? pockets. <laughs> That's not true. Is, isn't there a stolen pot in your bag? <laughs> there is, but I didn't steal it. And I know <laughs> stolen platinum. He's wearing a stolen magical amulet. Stole right, the skin off that squid. Sure everything's there. <laughs> Unreal. Did you give it? Uh, I think Richie just got disconnected. Yep. Yeah, it so. looks like. Okay, so you guys are just waiting, and what, what are you doing? Because at this point now, it's about 150, 175 feet away from you. So whereabouts uh, is it? If you guys want to um... wait, if if you want to wait for it to go in the cave, we can potentially just sneak away if you if you prefer. In a snowstorm, we're not going to be moving very fast, and I would guess that the ice troll can travel pretty quickly. Yeah. In conditions like this, I think it's safer we we take care of it now. I okay. think so too. I, seeing as you guys are set on this insane course of action, um, I'm not set. I will support you. I still Yay. think it's pretty dumb. <laughs> Rolo uh, Give... taps Dunstan on the shoulder. As Dunstan turns to look at him, Rolo winks and casts Mage <laughs> Armor on Dunstan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of. As you kind of concentrate and shimmer its thing, his armor kind of glows and kind of like parts of the armor it feels like lifts off the armor as if he has a second coat of armor over his armor. Nice. What does that actually give you? It's a give, plus four bonus plus to four AC. AC. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. How long does it last? An hour. Okay, nice. Uh, is it concentration or is it just cast? It's not concentration. No, it's just duration. Really cool. That's yeah. Really cool. Okay, so at this point. 
The troll is about 100 feet away. And make another perception check, guys. Okay. Mm -mm. Twelve. Nineteen, fourteen. Okay. Natural twenty. Ooh, nice. Rolo immediately notices about ten degrees to the left of where the troll's walking, another troll emerges through the forest. Rolo keeps tapping Dutton on the shoulder and, and starts towards... shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Car carrying two dead carcasses, one over his shoulder, one dragging behind him. I can do this. Lumbering towards this cave. I can Rolo do this. explains there's another troll and that he wishes to change his vote. <laughs> so I, I, I'm focusing on the troll. And I'm trying to detect if it's evil by nature. Yes. You know, you know it's evil. <sighs> it is well and truly chaotically evil. I can take this, guys. I'm pretty confident. You, I'm fairly welcome confident. Back, Richie. Welcome, Rich. Sorry, PC crash. It's all right. I don't, I don't understand. So yeah, we we've got. Decisions. We found out now that there's there's actually two trolls on their way walking towards us. I think. Oh shit. But yeah, he's, there's two trolls. He's not backing um, down from this bad plan. <laughs> uh. Rich, uh, Rolo's cast Mage Armor on me, which gives me a decent amount of AC. And they are, I've detected that they are evil, which means I'm going to mess it up. You can I'm mess up. one up. Yep. Yeah, per day. You can mess up one evil thing per day. Uh, are trolls classed as giants? Um, do they speak giant or do they speak something they else? They do speak giant, yes. So I guess they kind of classed as giants. Okay. But like half a ton in weight, so I guess that would class as a giant, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, no, I, yeah, I didn't mean the size. I just meant if they could speak the language giant, because that means I can speak to them. Yeah, troll is a monstrous giant. So, well, yeah, it's a giant. Okay. I, I mean, this thing is like over twice your height, so I would call it a giant, even if it's a small one. And uh, not for long. <clears throat> I wink at Rollo. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think the plan is, guys, we wait for them to get relatively close. Um, I will engage. Ariana, you join me and try and flank the creature. We'll all focus fire on the first one, the one that's closest to us. Um, our rangers stay back and try to spread, just in case any of the of the trolls engage any of you. Uh, does uh, anyone have any questions? Why are we doing this? We're doing this because it's the easiest route, and they are evil. They and might... I, my, my main quest on this earth is to find evil and, and squash it. You don't know they're evil. Like they look like a nice I've family. That they're evil. <laughs> I've detected, and they are chaotic evil. But from their point of view, you are the evil one. No, I'm not. I'm the good one. <laughs> ah, philosophy. <laughs> I'd like to cast Bless just before we engage them. Okay, All right. so I'm assuming you're going to wait until they get right up to the front of the cave, and then you're going to engage, right? Yeah, I want to wait till they're like stood here. Ideally, if one, if one comes before the other, would be best. Okay. Um, can we... Yeah, so we've got Bless right now, yeah? How long does Blast last, Rich? Isn't it like 10 rounds? Yeah. Oh, um, I had a question one minute, on that. One minute. What is, what is a round? Is that a full... Six from... seconds. Six oh. seconds, which is everyone's that's, that's turn. That's from, from your turn to your next turn. Right, okay. I wasn't sure if it was just the portion of my turn. And so, like, I would... My part would be one round... Then Rolos would be another round, then Dunstan's another round all the way through. No, everyone's round is one. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay, so um, you guys are laying in wait, laying in wait, laying in wait, and all of a sudden this troll kind of lumbers. It's a good, like, 30 feet away from you at this point. Dragging its carcass behind him. The other one is about a hundred feet behind this one. Okay, so it's not within range of me yet. 
Should we wait could, for that? I could get to it now. I could get to it now. Shouldn't we wait until it gets to sort of right here? Uh, it doesn't really matter. We have a surprise. Like, I can just run at it right now and get all the way to it and attack it. That's our surprise round. Would it be better to wait until this troll is inside the cave and the other ones pass so we get yeah, the jump Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we let this first one go into the cave. That's a good plan. Let it start how, how? What's the distance on each of these little squares? On five feet. You can, five if feet. you click the, you click the ruler, you can see. Okay, so if it's a hundred foot behind, then maybe this troll will be around the corner already by the time the other one. Yeah. Possibly, but it's going to hear it. The other troll yeah. is much faster than this one, though. Oh. Yes, yeah, fine. We'll uh, we'll let we'll this wait one for the go. We're going to wait for the other one. Okay. Okay, so you're going to wait for the other one. So, for brevity's sake, the troll kind of, like, makes his way in, and the other troll is now about here. Alright, so I can't reach it. I want to wait till it gets right in front of the cave here. Someone left Jace behind. Jace Who's in there? Jace is dead. One hit. I don't know if it's character sheet, so I can't play as him. Fine, just shoot him. That's it. Alright. He's passed out in terror at the sight of the two trolls. Okay, so <laughs> I... A pool of urine so. drifts away from his body. <laughs> drifts away? Yeah. Okay, so I... It, it I... vaporizes on, like, impact with his trousers. I've balled it up with prestidigitation, <laughs> and I'm just sliding it away from the party. <laughs> so I basically give everyone a hand signal. I do this, and then I do this, and then I run and, like, jump to attack it. Yeah. And as I'm as okay. I'm like on my way running, I want to like smite evil. Okay. I'm bust that out on the very first one. So as as a bon as a bonus action, and then uh, uh, and I cast bless as he's running. Okay. Is that the six the ten round thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bless is AOE as well. Hits everyone. So the three melee combat oh. fighters charging. Mm-hmm. Um, do we I'm roll initiative say... to see? No, no, this is a surprise round. We'll roll I know, but do we still need an initiative to see who goes first in the surprise round? Um, well, since you're controlling all three characters, you can go first. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, bonus action, smite evil, uh, and then I'm gonna use power attack and swing at it. Do it. Go for it. Um, it's gonna. It's considered flat-footed at this point as well, just so you know. Okay, that's more for you for knowing which AC to apply. I know. Okay, but cool. Yeah, it's good to know. Plus two attack, plus two damage. So my attack, even with bless, is beast is my two hit is this. That hits. That roll actually, of shit. That hits. That hits. Okay. Then my damage is plus eleven. This. Oh god. This seems. This seems insane. This is my damage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> as you run, describe how it dies. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you want to do this? No. Uh, as, as you kind of run through this illusion, charging with your, your flail kind of above your head, you kind of like slam down into the side of this troll's kind of like upper torso, just just on the, the lower portion of his ribcage. Um, it doesn't even realize you're there yet. You kind of slam into him, and he kind of reels back in agony. He's like, as your, the end of your mace kind of like gouges chunks out of the side of his body. He kind of like drops... The, the corpse of the ram that's over his shoulder and turns towards you. Nice. Uh, just to point out as well, if he did have any resistance to my damage, uh, my smite makes me ignore damage reduction. Okay, good to know. Okay, so, Ariana. Yeah. That is the end of my turn. Ariana does not hit.
Ragmo, however, does. No, other way around. She hits, he doesn't. Never mind. I'm a retard. Uh, okay. He's still flat footed. So she hits her attack. Dealing. Uh, so many fucking character sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Have you looked at bringing them into Roll20 yet to see, is that possible? I have not. I, I, like, I've literally spent the past two weeks designing so these things. Unbelievable um, how little effort you've put into this. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I will do, I promise I'll do better next time. A bolt of lightning comes down from the sky. <laughs> 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 she hits him for five points of damage. Uh, so she kind of like strikes um, up at his kneecap, kind of like hitting him in the side of his kneecap, hopefully kind of like twisting his movement. It doesn't quite hit because it's basically hitting like a giant wall of flesh. It doesn't really budge too much, but it still deals damage. Okay. Um, I guess now we're on initiative unless anyone wants to strike first. Anyone want a quick early game, early strike before yeah. anything goes? Yeah, no, I'll I will sling a sling at it. <laughs> your, your plus two health sling. Yeah, my <laughs> my can do two <laughs> damage on a crit sling. Yeah, <laughs> my okay. sling of healing. <laughs> sling of healing. Uh, so plus uh two. 17 to hit. That hits. That hits. Nice. Oh, one, one damage. One non-lethal damage. damage. Yeah. So if that was its so last hit point, it just falls like... unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of like throw your sling, like, ha! <laughs> and this like little pebble kind of rolls and like bounces off the side of his head. I would be using a crossbow, but I couldn't afford it with the ten gold starting. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to skip the troll so I could buy a crossbow in town. <laughs> we'll get one. Uh, next time, next <laughs> cool. Time. That's that's the end of my attack. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rollo? Um... I might have a hand on how to cast spells. So I've got a special attack uh, called Acid Dart because I'm a conjurer. Uh, and just as a standard action, you can unleash an Acid Dart targeting any foe within 30 feet as a ranged touch attack. Yeah. So yes. you need to wait. Okay, yeah. That just means it hits his touch AC, I believe. His touch it, AC? It, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lower AC is, for like, three, reaching out and touching. ACs. Yeah, there's like um, normal AC, touch AC, and flat footed. Flat footed okay. is basically when you get caught off unawares or okay. you're not prone or something like that. Um, touch okay. is usually restricted to touch spells, but if this is a touch attack, I'm assuming it's going to go through such AC. Yeah, there's, okay. there's a few that are labeled as range touch. Okay. So do I have to make a to hit on spells as well, or is that just yeah. like. Well, um, I'm assuming you're going to shoot this out of you, right? So you will need to roll an attack. Uh, um, I don't know what it would be though. It'll be a d20 no, no. plus. I believe you yeah, use your range. Normally you don't. Normally with a, just a ranged attack spells, you don't use your attack. You don't roll attack. It just does damage. You just yeah. hit. But because this is touch, if when you, if you think about a normal touch spell, you do have to actually walk up and touch something. Okay. So you have to roll to hit on a normal touch. So because this is ranged touch, I think you do have to roll to hit. Okay. <coughs> so acid splash. I think yeah. so. Acid darts. Acid darts. Yeah. Uh, so a touch is just a melee attack then? Or, yeah. or different? Like that, yeah. Okay. Well, no, no, normal touch spells are like uh, shock and grasp and things like that where you... Okay. Well, I don't know about shock and grasp actually because you just make your fists lightning, don't you? So it but there's is... other things. Like my lay on hands heal is a touch. So I have to walk up and like put my hand on people to touch them. Okay. So if I wanted to use it to do damage, oh, I have it, to like, roll It says attack. in the spell description you must succeed on a ranged touch, oh, no, a ranged touch attack. So yeah. Okay. Uh, it's also a twenty-five place. foot, twenty-five foot range. So it's what? Yeah, one d twenty plus your dex mod. Okay. Which is oh, natural twenty crit. Natural, you crit him. Okay, roll for damage. I think it's going to be doubled, right? I don't know what how it works for spells. I don't know. If hmm. I don't, hmm. 
I'm guessing spells crit, right? It's it's one d six. So yeah, yeah. You just double it, double the so double so is it one d six times two or two d six? One d six times two. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, one d it's is your roll double? Actual damage. One d six. That's it. Just one d six. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's just uh, that doubled then. Yeah. Oh, does this work? So you just roll two d six basically. Okay. So nice. Ten. Oh, nice. So ten points of damage. So you kind of like. Hold up your hand and conjure this dart like just in front of the tips of your fingers, and you kind of blast it out, and it kind of careens through the air and hits him in the side of his shoulder as he's turning to like confront Dunstan. Kind of penetrates him straight in the top of his shoulder, just just below his clavicle, dealing ten I, points of acid damage. Does that do any poison, or is it just flat acid damage? It just has acid damage. Okay. Wow, well, I like I kind of like take it, not take a step back, but kind of like whoa, like you know, and look over and be like. As a, yeah. as a minor action, Rolo wakes again. Oh, that <laughs> guy. He's got my heart. Let's do this. Okay, Kana, what would you like to do? I think you just want to stand this silently. <laughs> He's stunned by the amount of damage you've done. <laughs> yeah. In one so attack, you did more damage than me and Kana combined in the entirety of the last session. <laughs> <laughs> Kana, are you there? While he's taking his turn, I'm just going to grab a drink quickly. Back in a second. Uh, me too, actually. Make a glass of water. Oh. He's attacking, and he crit. Okay. Right. I guess, I think he has a crossbow at the moment. No, I thought we were rolling from initiative. I missed everything, so I was guessing. Oh. Smooth. No, you're attacking. So roll for damage, man. Well, I guess you're attacking. Like, do you, is that what you want to do? Well, why I would have cast blast blessing my... Uh... In the surprise round? Surprise round, yeah. Okay. Okay, then. Um... I'm just gonna say Jace is just like f like fondling himself. Yep. No so worries. roll initiative, I guess. I'm gonna take right. Richie's initiative because I yep. guess that's what he thought he was gonna do. Yep. Thirteen. Hello. Yeah, you two roll initiative. Ah. Uh -huh. Christian, roll initiative. Initiative. Oh, here we go. This is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fucking Whoa. Hell. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Rolo's still not first in the order. So the seven is me, the and the eighteen point. is Ray. Okay. Well, can you roll Ariana or Ragmo for me? Uh, it's plus one for both. Okay. Eight and six. What? Yes, that's right. Wow. I just need to find out one thing. In Pathfinder, are we? Do we know when a creature is bloodied? Uh, you can perceive okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Can we make checks as free actions? Uh, what's that? Sorry. Can we make checks as free actions? Can I just perceive whatever um, I want? Well, or... well, yeah, you need like if you want to check out how badly wounded the creature is, you need to do a heal check. Oh, okay. So let me just double check that for you, just to make sure. I don't think it's super critical right now, as long as if we need to not nah. kill this. Yeah. <clears throat> it's one... No, wait. Um, I 
think it would be a, um, a bonus action. I'm going to say it is, because I can't really find it right now. Okay. I don't want to waste too much time, so I'm just going to say it is. That's cool. Okay, top of the board, Kano. Sweet. <laughs> I'm going to shoot this badass then. Knife. Okay, if you've got a line, oh, yeah, it's going to, you're bound to have line of sight, you can shoot over Ariana. Nice. That hits. Nice. Cool. Oh, they both rolled 20. Shut up, Mark. I rolled them both <laughs> together. Five points Five damage. damage. Okay, you shoot in a crossbow, right? Yeah. Okay, so as you take aim, you let loose this bolt, and it kind of shoots through the air, and kind of shoots the troll in the upper part of his bicep, dealing five points of damage. Damn it. This, this guy is looking pretty bloodied up. Like, uh, he's, taken, he's sustained quite some hits from you guys. Well. And next is Mr. <laughs> Ice in the cave. He's heard all the commotion going on. And uh, he's kind of just walking out to investigate. He doesn't really know what's going on, so he's going to take his movement phase. <coughs> kind, of, kind of come up to about here. Uh, okay. Sees what's going on, but really can't do much about it. The second troll, now well and truly aware of what the fuck is going on, <laughs> turns, turns and sees Dunstan, the one who did the most damage to him, and takes a nice, healthy bite at him. Sweet, go for it. Let me just double check. That misses. Yes, it does. All the way. <laughs> So as he kind of lunges forward to bite you, you kind of just like push his face out of the way. Rollo, what can you do this time? Rollo. Uh, oh, me, shit. Uh, I am going to do acid die again. So I do another range touch attack. So d20 plus dex modifier was last time, right? It probably isn't. It's probably like arcane or something. Like, <laughs> um, so that misses actually. He ah, kind of okay. like shoot, and uh, he kind of like sees it coming and kind of crouches and kind of just kind of flies over his shoulder. Okay. That's his touch AC, yeah. Oh wait, it's touch AC. That's right. Oh. Uh, Good catch. Because that that would hit me. That that still does miss. That still okay. misses. All right. Uh, that's probably my turn done then. You could you move, move you for. Um, I do not. No. Okay. So, Ray the Raven. Um, he is not going to do anything combat related and just kind of chill out over here. Fuck like that. I'm going over here. Uh, okay. He's going <laughs> to check to, to see if there are any more trolls coming from this direction. Yeah, good idea. Really good idea. <laughs> okay, so give me a perception roll. As far as he's aware, the tree line is pretty back to normal. Snow's falling like regular. Nothing seems to be moving in the distance. Cool. He um he just relaxes on a nearby rock, keeps glancing back over his shoulder at the combat, and just turn keeps turned away from it. Like it's it's not happening. <laughs> it's not going on. I don't know. Sorry. Everything everything ahead of me is fine. <laughs> 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 okay, Dunstan. Dunstonian. So I take another swing. Swing away. So you use my power attack? Go on, Dunstan. All right. Good job, you Dunstan. Three. Wait, do you oh, not yeah, get ten. like some sort of critical bonus to your attack roll because it's smited? Nope. Oh, but the, the bless bonus on it as well. Yep. Oh. Okay. That's all I got plus seven. Oh, no, I didn't put it. No, yeah, it blesses on there. Ah, oh, no, yeah. So it's another plus two, so it's 12. 
Oh, that probably still doesn't hit, but it should be 12. Yeah, I forgot to put my smite to bonus to attack on there. Okay, so what are you? what's the total for your roll? 12. 12, that misses. 12 to hit, yeah. Okay, misses. And you kind of swing down and at this point. He knows, he well and truly knows that where you are and kind of just like <coughs> lunges and steps out of the way. Okay, I want to... Um... I want to say to him in giant, uh, your your days are numbered. He looks down at you and laughs. <laughs> and kind of just says puny human. In a very Hulk like voice. Ragnar's turn. He's gonna take another swing up at this giant. He misses his swing. Maybe <laughs> This reminds me of us trying to kill our last kobold in the second session. That, that was, this was, that was hilarious, idea. man. That um, was so hilarious. We killed a bunch of kobolds and then we, we all had this last one surrounded. All of us just constantly missing it. <laughs> <laughs> How <laughs> far can... That was like four rounds of missing or something. <laughs> How far can I move on my turn? Is it 20 or 30 feet? 30 feet. Uh, 30 feet. I should tell you, you look at your speed on your character sheet. Oh, Most yeah. big things can move 30. Like I think halflings and gnomes and stuff, it's 25. Uh, most elves and humans are 30. And the character sheet's right at the top. On the it right, says right speed, side. walk, 20. Is that it? Yeah, 20 feet. That's how far you can move okay. per turn then. Wow. What are you then? Are you a half-elf? Human. What? I mean, Do you have I, like I, really I'm, low strength? Or something? Uh, I have seven strength. I have seven uh, strength. Are you probably? You probably? Yeah, you probably in cover. In cover, maybe. What the yeah, hell are you be, Well, my backpack uh, and Don't a dagger. <laughs> it's really That's heavy. Oh, it's in bullets. <laughs> I have got sixty-three bullets. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, think, I think the majority of it is the grappling hook. It weighs four pounds, so that's really lugging me down just by itself. <laughs> um, okay, so I I don't really want to get too close to this thing, so I'm going to move in preparation for the other thing. So I'm going to move to there. I'm assuming at this point your uh, barrier has now fallen. Yeah, yeah. As, as soon as we shot through it, it would have dropped. Right. So I will move to there um, and take another sling at it. Go for it. <laughs> Let's see how much minus damage you can do to it. <laughs> hey, at least I'm hitting it, guys. Whoa. At least I'm hitting it. <laughs> that misses. What? <laughs> kind of careens over the top of its head. The hell? Um, is that including my? Oh, it's not including my plus two from what? bless. Plus one. From plus bless, one from it? bless, is it? Yeah, hundred percent. Plus one. That still yeah. misses. That still misses. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ariana takes a swing. She hits. Dealing nine points of damage. So she kind of like slams back into the same knee she's been working. Like this time, like pummels down on it and is facing towards it and just fractures through the kneecap. You can hear a resounding crack as the hammer hits the bone. Nice. I say, good job, Ariana. Good job, Ariana. I'm glad that you're, you're fighting something evil instead of murdering innocent people. <laughs> okay, we're back to Kana. This troll's not dead yet. Not dead yet. It's looking pretty rough. I would, uh, I would advise. Uh, I can't advise. Maybe I shout over and I, and I just say, "I got this one, guys." And I, I try to like, ask everyone. Turn. You can only do this on your turn. Can I? Well, so free action to speak. Isn't like uh, I guess round six seconds. Yeah. It's a lot of talking yeah, you're, you're doing in six seconds. Yeah. <laughs> You already had a mini conversation with the troll. <laughs> Basically, you want I'm to just say, spewing yeah. words as I'm <laughs> as I'm bashing this troll. Yeah, Karna, it's your turn. Cool. Uh, 
Okay, I'll move up to there and reload my microphone screen. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to reload an entire action for a crossbow. Oh, yeah. That's right. But standard action for light crossbow. Yeah, yeah so Full you can... Action for heavy. Well, the thing is, you could have done it on your previous turn instead of moving, because you didn't move. Yeah, but I didn't load it anyway, so I had to load it as my move last turn and then shoot as my standard action, so... Okay, okay. So, yeah, that's me done. Cool. Okay. Now it's Mr. Ice Troll in a cave, and he looks really quite pissed. So he's just going to throw the carcass of the um, the ram directly at the closest target, which is Ariana. That hits. Hide your kids. Hit. Hide your ram. That hits it for six points of damage. Ram damage. Ram damage. <laughs> Unreal. Six points of ram damage. So he kind of like lunges forward and throws this like corpse of a ram towards her. And she's kind of like hit in the side as she's not really aware of what's going on. And this ram just deals some significant damage to her. And for the rest of his move, he's kind of run up and engage. The second troll, still intent on beating the shit out of uh, Dunstan, takes another swing. Ring it. 14? Nope. Not nope, misses. I got 18 AC against that one anyway. It's good to know. <laughs> Rollo, you're up. Uh, I was just marveling in that, that run joke. Um... <laughs> Genius. <laughs> so I am going to attempt another. Oh, another I disregarded this. I disregarded this. How many times can you cast this, by the way? Seven times a day. Okay. Yeah. Um, so roll 1d20 plus three. <coughs> this is against its touch sharp balls. All right. <laughs> you failed to touch Even, its balls. Uh, oh, plus one with bless, but yeah, I failed to touch its balls. Uh, 12, you say? Yeah, 12. Uh, 12 fit last time. Uh, I think so. Yeah, that, that missed. That just barely missed. You kind of shot, and it was slightly off target, and it kind of like just, just whizzed past his ear. Just to point out, if it just barely missed, I'm assuming his touch AC is 13. Mm. That would have meant that Rolo's last hit would have hit, because he didn't put his blessed bonus on that either. If you look really? true. He loaded to roll yeah. 12 last time. That's my okay. bad. Okay. No, that's my Good bad. Enough. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll I'll let you have it. No, you can have that one. Yeah, sure. All right. I think mine would also. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to do minus two damage? Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is one d six. Okay. Yeah. Hey. There Switch. we go. So you kind of fire this dart, and he kind of just punches and scrapes the skin just barely, mm. dealing one point of damage. Uh, which one? You hitting the weaker one or the new one? Uh, the, the first one, we attacked. Okay. Dunstanius. Use my power attack. Swing, swing at it. Uh, that's going to be this. That hits. That'll do it, baby. Okay. Uh, plus, nine is... plus nine. Holy point. shit. Plus nine to hit. Yep. So and this is. Look, yeah, you think that was good? Look at my t hit, my damage. Holy uh, shit. Way to roll the minimum. <laughs> <laughs> so, as the dart kind of whizzes past and kind of like scratches through his shoulder, he kind of like loses his concentration a little bit and looks over to the shoulder and looks then back towards Roland. As this is happening, you were swinging this mace quite cleanly and it kind of cracks him square in the jaw, shattering the side of his jaw. My dart was nice. perfectly placed. Perfectly calculated for that reason. So I, I want to I like let out a sort of like uh, uh, unhuman like uh, roar and I want to just say, who's a purely human now? And uh, try and intimidate it. He looks down at you and says, who's a paladin now? 
Yeah, messenger what? of God. No. <laughs> what? Unleashing <laughs> bestial screams of rage. I, I can. I, I, you can see at this point, this troll is very worse for wear. <laughs> Ragmore, let's see what he can do. He's going to take a swing at the other troll. No, he's going to take a swing at this troll. He hits. Dealing three points of damage. He's kind of beast. like cracking him in the side cracking him in the side of his ribcage again. Doing kind of work in the same area. Work the this body ragnar. Very rough, guys. <laughs> very rough. Mabron. Right. See what we can do. Ugh. Hero's time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna move to here. Uh here. Right. And I am going to cast Color Spray. Which is a 15 foot cone. And I'm going to cast it like that. Okay. Yeah, you can so. probably hit both of those. <coughs> You're probably going to hit Ariana, though, at the same time. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so it is a willpower saving throw that they need to roll. Um, okay. With a DC, a DC of 16. Okay, one second. Pretty sure these guys get a bonus to that. They get a bonus to wisdom no, saving no. throws. No, they don't. Never mind. So... You said 16, right? 16, yeah. This one makes the save. Second one does not. Cool. Um, what uh, amount of hit dice are they? Because the effects change depending on their hit dice. Ariana also does not. Um, how much hit dice does the trolls have? Uh, everything that got hit. So Ariana as well. Wait, so the so one each... who saves doesn't get hit? Yeah, that's right. The the one who saves yeah, doesn't get hit. Does it get hit, but half damage? No, it's not a damage spell. Okay. So uh, the, okay. the saving so, throw negates. Um, so the hit dies for Ariana, I'm not sure. Give me one second. It's probably like two. But the troll I is seven. Seven? Yeah. Are you shitting me? Okay, the spell does nothing to the trolls. Oh. Yeah. Are you Wait, sure we should be fighting a seven hit dice creature at level one? <laughs> wow. This spell literally can't do anything unless they're five. Oh, that's not true. Five or more hit dice. It is stunned for one round. There we go. Oh, okay. That's all it does. So, yeah, yeah. The, the troll that you Seven hit, hit dice. The, the first troll uh, that you hit is stunned for one round, and Ariana has a hit dice of, I think, two or three. Okay, Ariana is unconscious, blinded, and stunned for 2d4 rounds, then blind, then blinded and stunned for 1d4 rounds, and then stunned for one round. Because that's the hit dice of the creatures we're supposed to be fighting at level 1! <laughs> <laughs> oh All right. my god. Okay, Ariana is unconscious. Dunstan pops his uh, semi. What? Ariana is uh, blinded, unconscious, and stunned for 2d4 rounds. Three rounds, okay. And uh, the one troll is stunned, right? Mm -hmm. For one okay. round. Okay, I'm assuming it's the closest one that you hit first? I, uh, I counted the first one as the closest one, and the, the furthest one as the second one. Uh, then it was the second one. Oh, wait, no, one. The furthest one. First one. Yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah. <laughs> All right, nice. Ariana is unconscious, so she misses her turn. And blind and stunned. Uh, Connor. <laughs> awesome. Go, Connor. Go, Connor. Go. I'll move up to there and shoot for my crossbow. Closest Which one are you going for? Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, that's not it. Kind of like the bolt kind of shoots across his shoulder, missing him entirely. Ice Troll number one um, takes another swing at Dunstan. Bring it. Come on. 13? 18. Misses. Second Ice Troll is stunned for this round. He's now no longer stunned, right? Mm hmm. Okay, Rollo. As a dart. Go for it. So I'm going to add the plus one this time as well. Nice. 17. The hit. As this, this is the, the original troll, the one that's nearly dead, by the way. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. One point of damage. <laughs> so that kind of like hits him. He kind of looks down and is like, and he kind of just brushes it aside. Ah. He's still very, very worse for wear. Ray the Raven, is he just going to keep just chilling out over there? Yep. He, he does the same damage as me on a maximum. On a crit, he can do one damage. Okay, so, so he's just he's like not a combat. around the corner. Yeah, he's like, I ain't dealing with this. Okay, Dunson, let's see what you can do. Power attack, swing away, baby. Same troll? Same troll. This to hit. That really does quite hit. This to do damage. That's How the max I can do. Do you want to do this? That's the max damage I can do. <laughs> How do you want to do this? So, uh, I want to um, take a kind of swing at the uh, swing at the at the knee and hit it. So he kind of comes down onto on one knee. So he kind of comes down to my level, and I want to look him straight in the eyes and. Uh, Kind of just like hit him straight in the head, and uh, okay. yeah, just so you kind of him. like swing down with the the blunt side of your your flail, hitting him in the knee. He kind of crumples down under one D and kind of comes down, and he's facing you now in the eye, and you just kind of look him in the eye as you swing and hit him in the side of the jaw, where you hit him previously, where it's like really like quite fractured and broken. You kind of hit him in the side as well. He kind of slubs and falls to the side. He is now dead. I want to uh, spin and t talk to the other troll, uh, and I want to say, uh, mm, I want to say, uh, you're, you're next, basically, in, gi in giant. He looks at you with the burning fury in his eyes, and he's like, Aah! just really screaming and shouting at the death of his brother. Bring it. Let's go. Okay. Ragmore now charges kind of around and kind of starts wait. Five, ten, fifteen. Makes it oops, makes it here. Kind of flanking the troll with Ariana if she was in con unconscious. It takes a swing. Mixes entirely. What actually happens when you're flanking something? Do you have advantage on attacks or what? Uh, it's plus two to your attack bonus. Okay. So only the person that's play. behind, right? Yeah. Okay. Like those, the two people that are completely adjacent to each other, then that's the people that get the bonus. Okay. Okay, Mayroon. Um. Well, I will. What's the rules when they're stunned? In terms of like hitting them, well, this isn't stunned anymore. Oh, did the stun wear off? Has it had its turn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will uh, but just... if it was, then it would be considered flat-footed. Right. Uh, I will just sling at it. Uh, plus what was it? Plus three. And a miss. And this is. I'm done. Ariana's still unconscious. Yeah. So that oh. was only. It has now been it's one three round. Three rounds, yeah. right? Yeah, three that's rounds. So that's been one. Uh, surely that's only this been is one round. the second time I've come through to her turn. So it's been one round for you because this is your second round right. now. So this is her second round. Okay. And now it is Karma's turn. Well, uh, 
guess, load my crossbow and shoot the remaining trap. Go for it. No! <laughs> Kareen's past its head, not even close. I'm running out of crossbow bolts. <laughs> <laughs> First troll dead, second troll. He is now quite pissed off and he's just going to start wailing on the corpse or the, the body of Ariana. <coughs> Dealing. Uh, wait, what's her? On the bright side, if, if she dies, at least we don't have to right find out if she was trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> She did save me. No, that misses. That misses entirely. The guy she killed saved Even us. Even though she's lying on the floor unconscious, it misses. <laughs> wow. Roro. How long does Bless last? Ten, ten turns. Rounds. Have we had ten so rounds? this is like the no. fourth or fifth round. Okay, good. I said that. <laughs> I really uh, don't have a massive bag of tricks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen hits, right? That hits. That hits. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's four not one. Not bad. So you shoot the dart and it kind of hits it in in its kind of stomach region, dealing four points of acid damage. Not bad. Cool. That's my turn. Ray the rave. I don't even know why Ray's on this board. <laughs> to be honest with you, just just skip it from now. He technically unless... gets a turn. <laughs> How dare you discriminate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I want to try and do something. I want to let you to see if it's possible because it's a huge creature. But I basically want to try and jump the corpse and bull rush it back away from Ariana. Uh, you can, but you're going to need to make a acrobatics check to, to just to jump the corpse. Yeah, just to get a climb, just to climb on it, so you can then bull rush off and kind of. I saw right. it back. So this is my acrobatics check. Nice. Uh, yeah, you make that easy. All right, cool. So uh, I want to bull rush it, which is do 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 which is this, <clears throat> which is eighteen, and he needs to. What's his bull rush CMD? Uh, let me just one second. Okay, that will be you crit failed. I crit failed. failed. He did. Yep. He doesn't have to roll anything. He has a C he has a defense. Yeah. Which is a D twenty plus nine, isn't it? No. He has to no, defend like... so he's got a CMD. The yeah, CMD is... to like to do bull rush and then the CMD which is like your defense. Like I've got eighteen defense oh, against mine is ten. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was doing the CMD. The CMD okay. no, you don't you don't. I don't push him, yeah? No. Alright. Can I oh, okay. I guess it just fails. You kind of like you were kind of still on top of the thing, and you kind of bull rush and hit into him, but he just does not budge. All right, so I guess I change my location to be, at least be here, like yep. still on the creature. Yep. Okay. Uh, I guess that's can't do anything else. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the end of my turn now. Okay, Ragmore. Um, <coughs> no one's damaged. He's just going to take another swing at the troll. Uh, hits. Doing six points damage. She kind of slams in nice clean in the back. Doing six points damage. Yes, Ragmore, yes. <laughs> All right then, back in the main room. Let's see what you can do with your sling. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> uh, this, this is the last time unconscious, right? Three times? Um, no, 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 no. 
And then she stands up, doesn't she, and no. something else happens? Yeah, no, no, no. no. Um, this is the last <laughs> time that she is unconscious, blind, and stunned. For the next 1d4 rounds after this, she will be blinded and stunned. Let me okay. just roll that. Yeah, so for the next three rounds after this, she'll be blind and stunned, but no longer unconscious. That was brave as a beast. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, it would be. Um... It would be. <laughs> we were not fighting wildly level inappropriate creatures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. So, okay. So basically, when you're stunned, something, whichever gets stunned, drops everything it's holding, cannot take an action, has a minus two penalty to AC. Loses all dexterity bonuses to AC if they have any, and the attacker gets a plus four bonus on attacks when it's relating to combat maneuvers. Nice. That would be yeah. super useful yeah, if it had happened to an enemy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really good to know. Yeah. I could uh, could trip this thing super easy if you can stun it. I cannot stun it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I can uh, never stun anything of this um, of this hit dice. One day. Not until like level six. <laughs> we'll probably get. We'll probably level up to like level nine between these two. <laughs> you might actually. I'm gonna move up there and hit him with my dagger. That's brave. I respect that. I wouldn't have done that. I'm actually considering just walking out of combat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna raise another silent so. image and blend myself into the wall. <laughs> that hits. Yes. Is that your to hit modifier with a dagger? And bless. No, I forgot okay. bless. Okay. Still hits either way. Maybe I've just got really good it's to hit damage. modifiers for some reason. Um, isn't it based on your strength? Your. Well, you've gone down the dex route, right? Me. Oh yeah, Richie has. Yeah, I expected him to be have a higher hit. Like well, I have I have articles. high dex, but my melee to hit is still minus two. Yeah, but he has a feat that puts his dexterity as his hit mod. Uh, four damage. damage. So you kind of like shank your dagger forward and kind of catching him as he's kind of moving away, it's kind of scraping through his skin, but not really doing as much damage as you hoped. Still not bad. Now the troll turns his attention to Kana. Oh, no. I'll teach him. Pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you want to maintain a nice 20 foot distance. <laughs> uh, 10, Richie? No, that misses. That misses. Fuck, these trolls suck. <laughs> Every attack is missed except one. Don't they have any like other attacks, like roar or anything? Not really. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go at a dart number six of the day. All right. Do it, Rolo. Yeah. Show him the juggling. <laughs> yeah, I juggle. <laughs> Just stand in the corner. Oh, <laughs> God. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you shoot, and it kind of just catches him slightly across the skin. doesn't really penetrate or anything. <laughs> does yeah, I'm, minor I'm, damage. I'm saying I'm dumpsting again like last time. That's all. That's all. Okay. Stop <laughs> well, softening, but yeah, that's, that's how it's going. Okay, so this one isn't smoothing, so I don't get the bonus. So this is to attack, and this this is to do damage. Uh, yeah. This it's is that that... still plus nine because you're not smiting anymore. Yep, because it's plus eleven when I got smite. 
I don't know how you get such big modifiers. How do you get plus nine? Yeah, because plus seven to hit plus and two half. nine damage at level two. <laughs> How do you get uh, plus that's, seven that's to more hit? more than my total HP. Mm. Just your I've modifier. Got, I've got plus seven to hit because I've got plus six hit to hit normally. And then I've got glass. How? I don't know. Yeah, but damage. Actual damage. But so. Uh, On the, your character sheet, it says 1d8 plus nine. nine. Yes. What the? That's what oh, I just okay. rolled. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you kind of like wow. smack him again, again in the side of his jaw, just like his friend. Cracking his jaw. All right. You're single-handedly beating the shit out of trolls, man. <laughs> I'm helping, all right? Come on. It's you you are this. helping. You're distracting those dots. Yeah, and it's like I can do it without fear of getting hurt because I've got stupidly high AC now and to hit chance because of these guys. Okay, Ragmore tries to swing at his troll, and as he swings, he kind of loses balance and drops, uh, kind of like throws his hammer forward and kind of drops it. He just crit failed. He spends the rest of his action picking up his hammer. Mabron? Ah. Uh. So my, my to hit my attack bonus, which is based off my uh, my base attack bonus, which is plus two, plus my stat miss. modifier, which is strength. Yeah, it was a miss. Okay, Ariana uh, is still stunned. Does that mean she takes her round picking up a gear again? She, she's still stunned, so she can't she's pick it up, can she? Yeah. Well, she got stunned in the previous round. For three rounds. And she's still stunned. Three so rounds. Does, she just cannot take a move at all. Okay, fair enough. Kana. I think that attack of yours was more detrimental to the party than... Oh, definitely. The actual... I think definitely. if we were fighting creatures of accurate hit dice for our level, it would have been that. super Don't fucking useful. <laughs> I'm, like, on the edge of googling the fucking challenge rating for an ice troll. <laughs> and I'm going to come back with stats like, and graphs. Ariana, and you're like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, a cha it's, it's a challenge rating of four, to be four. fair. And there's two of them. But Molly... We're I level one! <laughs> We're supposed Molly to be fighting just training then... one! <laughs> yeah, but your average party level's two. No, it's not. It's not. It can't be, he's the only yeah, level two. We're all Molly... level one, except Molly's <laughs> level two, Ragmore's level two, Ariana's level three. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, she doesn't yeah, count, she's unconscious. She's she got annihilated by me, but she not count NPCs. And then, and then she got stunned. Well, look, mate, I don't trust her story about being from some weird order. <laughs> <laughs> so you did it on purpose. Okay, good to know. So Richie's attack misses. Completely and utterly misses. Ice Troll is still going to attack Richie, though. Because he's... No. Yeah, no, he is. He's really, really quite pissed, and he just wants to get something done. Even though there's a stupid dwarf bumbling behind him. <laughs> and I just, like, just decimated his brother. So and that, just smashed that his is a, That is a hit. Wait, 19. What did you roll? 19. Oh, 19. No, 23. 23. <laughs> Miss, misses. <laughs> 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 and he's doing a... Uh, bite attack. I'm immune to bite. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ha! Natural one. Natural one. <laughs> three points. Three points of damage, which you need. Is it Pearson? Yeah. Um, it is. I think bite is normally a piercing. <coughs> I think so. They doesn't normally. actually specify on Pathfinder, which is really kind of annoying. Is it is it the bite ram damage? It says melee, battle axe, bite, claw, and it doesn't actually specify. Okay. Hey, what? Oh, that's interesting. You just found a new attack. Run, quick, kill it, quick, kill oh, it, okay. quick. That's this new attack. Yeah, oh. interesting. You probably should be having about three attacks to that. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say that. If he's got that many hit dice, it should be just like two swinging some bite. Okay, we've got like a few turns to kill it before it destroys everything, basically. Yeah, so. before Mark is, realizes how to actually play the, the thing, trolls. The thing is, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I've, I've dialed it back from what, 
like its actual strength. But uh, I'm pretty sure it only does one attack per round. Because they're supposed to be in groups of three to six. Supposed nice. to be. Uh, you're supposed uh, to that's... fight them at level one. That hits. That's a, that's a touch, yep. touch AC, right? Yeah, that yep. hits. Cool. This is your last dart, right? It is my last dart. Again in the same arm. There's like four <sighs> darts. <in> <laughs> Almost the same spot. Rodo's Ro- Ro- shoulders just slump, and he's disappointed himself. <laughs> Twenty. Okay, not bad. So this this troll right now is looking pretty rough, though. There's like lots of scratches and scrapes and bruises, and lots of blood pouring out. He's looking sort of, sort of rough. Done, stunning us. Power attack. Swing away, baby. Do this. Oh, to hit. Seven to hit. Whoosh. Is that a crit with the flail? Nope. I wish. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's, this it's... is my damage. Is it not? Can't believe how well you're rolling tonight, by the way. 13 points of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> so again, you were kind of working the same side <laughs> of his head. Just like striking him. <laughs> fucking... Strike after strike into the side of his head. Wow, this, this troll is very rough at this point. I guess you get no minus to hit because you're using Furious Focus here. Are you sure yeah, your character sheet is right? Oh, now it explains that. Oh. Yep. Ragmore, let's see what you can do. Don't drop your weapon. <laughs> he hits. Basically, as Karna said, as Richie said, sorry, last time when I was fighting the octopus, I shouldn't have been able to use power attack with my shield. Okay, so Ragnar sees uh, Dunstan kind of strike him in the side of the head, and as he does, he simultaneously jumps up in the air as the troll kind of loses balance and strikes him in the back of his head. The troll kind of slumps forward, kind of like wobbles on his feet and just collapses on the ground. The troll is dead. Yeah! Good job, Ragmore. I run up to Ragmore and I take, I kind of grab his arm in like a, this kind of thing. A brethren kind of way. Yeah, and I just say, good job, brother. Rolo, Rolo runs up and waits to high five someone and no one high fives him and he slowly <laughs> throws his hand. <laughs> oh. Oriana is still stunned. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I then, uh, Ask Mayburn, uh, Mayburn to to see if he can find anything, and and then I immediately go up to Ariana and cast Lay on Hands on her. Okay, go for it. That's uh, I think it's one d six. I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, one d six. Not hurt anyway. Um, she take yeah, she took some damage. Yeah. Oh, my rolls tonight. What wow. the hell? Okay, so she heals yeah, six so points of damage. She gets back up and heals for the um, amount of damage that she actually got hit for. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to say she <coughs> recovers from the stun, kind of looks over to Mayburn and says, I know you truly did not mean to do that. I'm, like, not even acknowledging her. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, just say, I, I, I just say he, he, didn't, he didn't. It was... It was necessary to damage the other trolls. Yeah. Uh, to, she, sorry, she, to, to to hinder the other trolls. I wandered her over to the uh, to the troll corpses. He he saved our life this day. So I, I agree. I agree. I head over to the troll corpses, and Ray flies over as well. Um, Ray swoops down and starts pecking out the eye of one of them. Uh, <laughs> we troll trolls eyes weak as hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I sort of say, why didn't you do that during the fight? And like spit at him, and then start looking, <laughs> <laughs> start looking to see if they had anything of any value on them. Okay, give me a perception. Yeah. So me and Ray will both. Uh... It's Ray and me. Yeah, I mean, That's a for the most shit. part, they're just carrying like chunks of wood, bits of cloth around their waist. Um. You do gather approximately uh, about 157 gold pieces worth of stuff off their body. 
Okay, cool. Um, you, you sense that they were just they just came back from a little raid and are coming back with like some farmers sheep uh, sorry rams and a bits of like gold and cloth oh. that they just stole. Speaking of, do you know how we are for rations after coming out of the prison? Um. Uh, well, Ariana has eight bundles of rations, so you were good okay. for at least one more day. Okay, um, well, I think we should probably set to, if these rams are freshly killed, maybe set to butchering them, um, take the hides as well. Seeing as we're, we're going to be headed back to town fairly soon, we might at least be able to get something for those. And Dunstan's pretty good at skinning animals. So. Uh, are you sure um, you are or not? What? <laughs> Neighbor is bluffing. Talking shit again. <laughs> what, what kind of check is that to skin animals? Uh, what did I do last? Survival, survival yeah. probably. Oh yeah, zero. <laughs> it's a wisdom-based one, so I ask Ragmore if he if he knows how to skin things. I got plus three at that. Oh, okay. Oh. I have plus zero, but you can use it untrained, so anyone with decent wisdom will be all right at it. Um, Ray has <laughs> Ray has plus six wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> so Ray can skin better than anyone else. <laughs> Actually, no, he doesn't. He has plus two. Yeah, so if there's nothing of value, what, what are we thinking? We want to skin the the rams and take those back. Yeah, we might be able to get something for the leather. Or, okay. I mean, we can uh, just leave uh, them. What about the, the, um, How far are we? We're three days from town, aren't we? And we've only got rations for one... Did you no, no, say no, one no, day no, or no, one no. week? You, you, no, no, you're about an hour's journey outside of Tokyo, oh. the mine. Uh, the mine okay. town. Okay. But you're three days away from Stormport. Right, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, forget it. I thought we might not have enough yeah. food to make the journey. Yeah, never mind. Makes sense. So on that little note, I'm just going to take a quick uh, bathroom break. Um, if you guys want to do the same, go for it. Cool. I'll be yep. back in just a moment. All right, cool. I'll be back in two minutes. Come on. Back. Cool. Richie? Richie? Uh, 
And my, my PC crashed again. Oh. We will wait for you to rejoin, I guess, before we continue. On my phone at the moment. Oh. That's weird, man. You need to get your uh, new computer soon. Yes, I do. It's quite pissing me off, to be fair. <laughs> That's quite understandable. How um, how is the combat kind of fair in Mark cons compared to what you was expecting? Are we like smashing things more like easier than you thought, or For this session you really are? Well, obviously. but I'm rolling really badly at the same time. Like I hit two hits out of that entire combat session. It's weird. I find it weird that the trolls can only melee. They can do nothing else. They just walk up to people. It, it's not melee. I'm like doing different attacks, like fight attacks, like strike attacks. And I just noticed that they can do like um, it's something called rend, which is basically um, I can pretty much one hit everyone except the three tanks with that attack. Nice. Bring it. A bit odd as well that like. Dunstan is smashing the living shit out of them and nobody else is hitting them at all. Like, if you weren't here, we would all be dead. Yeah, I found that very strange. It's it's very peculiar. Like, well, I get that you can, want, like, smash the shit out of one thing, but two things? I don't know. I think the reason... I think Ariana should be doing more. She was just stunned a lot. But, like, fight yeah, isn't really strong at level one because I have... I have so much from my strength. I have 18 strength. Yeah. And that gives me so much. That that helps me with my accuracy and my damage. And well, that's I'm the using thing. a two-handed weapon. I, I remember mages being really, really weak early Until, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As the game progresses, they get godlike. They can take all exactly. armies on their own. Exactly. Stuff. That's what I mean. Like I yeah. start pretty decent and then I just get a little bit better as we go. The mages are just gonna like exponentially curve up. Yeah. So I think this is what you would normally expect. Well, the hit dice thing is a, a bit of an issue. Um, like I say, just because yeah, like, like a lot of the, like really the early spells, spells, if they rely on hit dice and we're, we're fighting high hit dice things, they're just not going to do anything. Um, or they'll be negated. Well, I'll, I'll have to take that in consideration because the only reason I'm throwing harder things at you is because <laughs> he's, he's the destroying things them. I threw at you <laughs> were way too easy. Like, the things at your level are too easy. Hmm. What I think is that... Like I said before, like big, really big, strong things I can fight really easily. It's like yeah. millions of little things that I can't fight. Uh, that's yeah, what we really like, struggle. That's the things where like color spray can color be really, really hard. Yeah, for for like twenty enemies that are one hit dice, color spray is fucking amazing. But for one seven hit dice creature, it doesn't do shit. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. We're gonna get XP. Yeah. yeah. Um, let us know when you're back for cheat. Oh, I guess you'll you'll pop in. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, so we, we're done, so we can carry on anyway. Richard, you, you can hear us anyway, right? Yeah, carry on, guys. Okay, so you killed these things. There wasn't really much. I think I said 157 gold. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, add that to your else, uh, right? party gold, I guess. Got it. Uh, what's, what's the move from here, then, guys? Yeah, so we. we uh, Kana gives a it's gold time, skin. I guess. Skin in the rams and try taking the hide with us. Uh, I so we, we skipped um, that. Sorry, I, I only said that because I thought we were three days away from town. Um, are we not? No, we're like three hours away. You're about an hour away from town. Yeah, well, that's. I just want to take them in and sell them. Do you think okay. we'll get much for some you want to butcher uncured... the rams? Yeah, the rams are dead. And at least okay. make their deaths not for nothing. They can okay. go to help and us get equipment which will go to saving the world. Okay, um, then when Richie's back, give me three, no, yeah, give me three survival checks, one for each round. Richie's in now, so you do it, Richie. Do it. Um, Mab uh, Mabryn, can you kind of arcana check these trolls just to see if they have any sort of like 
magical essence about their hide, just to see if we could maybe harvest something from it. I can do, yeah. I can also. Okay, yeah, but um, do you both want to give it a try, just to see, maybe take a troll each? Sure, I will do the one with the big red cross on him. Okay. And I sense that he's a somewhat magical oh, creature, shit. but... Wow. Rolo, that's not a troll, man, that's a rock. <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Rolo audibly shouts out, derp. <laughs> um, yeah, is there anything um, um, magically valuable about them that we could uh, I don't tear know out of their bodies? Under... Troll hair? Not really. Troll sweat? I mean, you, you just sense that Mojo. they are very... Uh, you kind of gather that they are just very... Um, in tune with ice elements, and they're very at home there. Okay. Um, just with natural antibody, uh, sorry, antifreeze in their blood system, but there's no real magic about them. They're just natural creatures that are naturally suited to living here. Okay. You know that they're very intelligent, though, over any other troll counterpart. That's not intelligent because they very... fucked with us, right, boys? <laughs> uh, well, define <laughs> fucked with. Got <laughs> smashed to pieces. <laughs> Did you make your um your checks, Richie? <coughs> Richie, can you still hear us? Yeah. Uh, I think Richie said his survival's three, so I'm going to roll his okay. checks for him. Yeah. One, two, three. Natural oh. 20. Okay, so the first one, you uh, Richie skins really, really well. The second one, um, not so much. The, the, the actual carcass itself is really, like, just fucked up from the trolls, so it's, it's almost unsalvageable. And the third one, again, that's pretty good. Um, so from the first one, you get the full hide, both horns from the ram, and several bundles of meat. The second one, about half as much. Okay. Are you going to carry seven that? Or or several. Yeah, okay. Seven, yeah. No, no, several. Several. Like, wait, what did I say? Several Just bundles several. of meat. And then, and then several, several. several. So let's say like four. Okay, so four, and then two for the second one, and then what about the third one? Seven a roll. No, no, several. So four for the first one, two for the third one, nothing for the second. Oh, okay, one. okay. The okay. second one wasn't a good enough roll because the okay. the carcass is just unsalvageable. And you had a perfect skin for the first one, so you have like perfect uh, ram hide. On the second one, it's it's more or less pretty good. Okay, and then one set of ram horns, was it? Yeah, one set of ram horns. It's pretty heavy, though. It's probably about 60 pounds with weight. Oh, I, I can't carry this. Not this much. I'm already carrying, like, remora tentacles and everything. So are the horns <laughs> 60 pounds in total? Or is the whole... No, the no, whole the thing meat is and everything. 60 in total. Like the horns themselves are probably about a pound. Can't um. Uh, the hide is uh, about. Keldon or Ariana eight, carry. Eight nine pounds. Uh, so it's the meat. The is rest it? is. Meat. All right, so Most I give the meat, meat to Ariana to carry. Okay. Um. I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it in my thing, so I know it's there. But yep, I'll just so mark carrying, Ariana's holding it. Fifty pounds. I've already got a big remora hide. Yep. Okay. No problem. Okay. We have so much shit. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, so we, yeah, we, we make our way... <laughs> like, not only have we been looting Tobia, everything, though. we've been literally skinning everything we kill. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> Even the trolls, yeah. but not quite. This is like a step beyond the usual loot hoarding. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, we make our way back down to the road. And yeah. then we travel up, so, up the road an hour to Todia, is that you right? You spend yeah. about 15 minutes getting back to the road, and you know, that because the road is kind of leading upwards, and you, you remember this road pretty well, it takes you about 45 minutes to an hour to get back to the uh, the town of Todia. Okay. 
And uh, this is basically a map of Tokyo. Nice. Nice. So basically, much more or less what you remember. Okay, so if I can. This map didn't exist last time, but if I remember rightly, that woman's house that we stayed in is like down here, isn't it? Uh, Somewhere yeah. down there? Yeah, yeah, down in that area. Are you talking about uh, Kate? Kate, yes. Uh, and then. Okay, so for starters, as you kind of walk towards town, you kind of like enter the town. The first thing that strikes you more than anything else um, is a perception roll, please. Uh, can, uh, just, just, just to say, as we're walking into town, can I like drape two of the remora tentacles from my shoulder, and uh, maybe like some ram hide on the other, so I just look like kind of covered in pieces of dead things. You know that you're a paladin. Of a uh, good god, yes, right? Can. I just want to keep, if you want to keep pointing this I want, out. I want <laughs> not not to like cover myself like a cloak, but just to like ha show them like uh, like badges Curtains. or honor sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> just to okay. Uh, yeah show that we're kind of like we mean business. You but yeah, so rolling perception. Yeah? Ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know anything. No, it's because you've town. got fucking remora tentacles covering your eyes. You were too busy, like, maintaining the balance on either of your shoulders. You're like, I need to con concentrate on this. Uh, but both Mabron, Kana, and Rollo, you all notice there are a lot more guards walking around this time than okay. when you previously So saw. I say to the guys, um, yeah, guys, just ho hold on a sec. I, last time I was here, because obviously none of you, I'm assuming none of you have been to Todia before. But you haven't been with me anyway, so, oh, so I'm, okay. So I'm gonna just explain. Like last time when I was there, the guards seemed quite shifty. Um, maybe maybe you could fill us in, Rag, more on a bit more information about the guards and the guard situation before so, we go in. So he says, "I the guards were uh, hired mercenaries to protect the town whilst we set everything up. I was tasked." to being in charge of them. But since I went out of the mine, I don't know what's going on. Did you ever have any sort of uh, people that were rebelling against you or like, you know, flouting your command, not listening to you or, or anything as you were trying to command them? They all really didn't trust me. But there was one in particular, uh, my second in command. He really didn't like me being. Why was he your second uh, in command? Second. What, what, was his, what was his name, Ragmo? His name is Carvel Duval. That's C A R V E L L D U V A L. Okay. Carvel Duval. Well, uh. He's the second in command because. I made him my second in command because we have no trust for each other at all. We did no, 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 nay, 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 nay. We did not make him second in command. He was just the head of the mercenaries that we hired to protect the town. So he naturally became second in command because the mercenaries we hired were just naturally drawn to him because he's their leader. Do they do a good job? Do they actually guard the city? I they protect the town, but they will not like you know they do not go into the mines. Okay. Um Okay then. So I I guess we continue into town. We need rest, we need supplies. Yeah, we, okay. we need a cross. So as you kind of <laughs> as you wander into the into the, the town itself, Ragmore himself is very off put by the fact that so many gods are here. He wants to know why. So he breaks away from a party and goes to investigate this. Okay. So Ragmore is, it... is no longer with you. Um, okay, is it possible just, just I can go with him, or should I just leave him for now? No, he, he tells you, just don't, don't worry, I'll investigate. And he kind okay. of walks I, off. And I, just, I, give him, I give him one of these, and I just like, stay safe, brother, and uh, call me if you need anything, and I'll, I'll help. He looks at you, and he tells you to keep his, um, his holy symbol that he gave you. He said... Look after it for me. I still want it back. No problem. Anytime you want. It's been a it's been a saving grace. Thank you. Um, All right. Okay. So, so we're in town. What are we the sort of areas of the bobs. town? Just so that we know. 
Um, like, okay, which, so you, I seen the map before. Um, from Dunson being here, uh, let me just get some text things going on. So yeah, I guess myself and Karna would have spent a few days here as well before we went down into the mines. So we yeah. should probably know yeah. like the general layout of the town, not like what every building is. But that's true. So you know that this one here is the tavern. I did have all the stuff written down, but I lost my notes from the first session. Uh, from the second session, sorry. <laughs> but I do remember that tavern had an awesome name. Yes, it did. It was called... Something like the Bottomless Barrel or something like that. Uh, I have to flick through all my pages of notes. <laughs> yep, the Bottomless Barrel. Nice. nice, well remembered. Run by Morin Ironbeard. Oh, I remember having a chat to Morin. That was funny. You know, has Rolo this one is... been to yeah. this town before? No, he is not actually. You were like en route to this town. Okay. Um, yeah. Like, just a little bit of filler information for you personally. You were kind of coming to this town to like show off your magical abilities and try and make some coin. That's the reason sure. you were traveling around. Yep. Um, well, Mark's doing that. Uh, yeah, just like as we're walking in, I just say to Rolo, um, yeah, so we're, we're finally here. Um, if you want to stick around for a while longer, you're more than welcome to. But if not, then it's been uh, it's been great. You've uh, you've helped a lot. You're you're quite the uh, the battle mage. I just start muttering. Uh, under my breath. Is... Marked for death. <laughs> <laughs> Rolo blush, uh, blushes and says uh, he could stick around a while longer. As long as we go to the tavern pretty soon. Wow, that that sounds like a good deal. Let's, let's do this. Torin's hammer. That's exactly Oi, where Torin's I'm going in a sec. Hammer. Torin. So should we um unless there's any sort of special event that's gonna happen in town, should we just take it in turns for getting we, um, stuff done that we want to get done? Should we all go to the market and unload? Deal, right? He's, well, I think I think to, it's go. it's going to be easier rather than all of us talking over each other. It might be easier if there's no no event that's going to happen. Like we just take it in turns to like sell and buy things and and yeah, whatever. Sounds yeah, sure. like plan. Uh, guys, do you want to go and so basically I say to everyone, guys, do you want to go off and uh, uh, do any errands that you need to do, and then we'll all meet in the tavern. Uh, what time is it at the moment? Um, at this point in time, it's about three thirty four p.m. Okay. As you remember from your previous visit to this town, the tavern never closes. All right, cool. So yeah, I guess I say guys, um, yeah, so it's 4 p.m. Should we all meet in the tavern at 8? Sounds good. Sounds okay, like a cool. plan to me. So I'll let, let you guys... Oh, yeah, my gods. Uh, but still follows with you, Dunstan. No worries. You guys can go first. Okay, so there you go. Everything that you remember from your previous visit is now labeled. Cool. Awesome. Uh, uh, as a side note, Ray, have you done your starting gold? Uh, I bought just a quarter staff, which is zero GP, so I think I still have 10 GP. Yeah. To spend... did, did you roll your base gold as well? Like yeah, your you... base starting gold? I did. I have a total. Oh wait. Uh, in PC Gen, I just yep. it just has funds ten GP. Yep. Okay. So, so uh, what well. class are you again? Wizard. <laughs> yeah. Also, like that ten GP you could have spent before now, so you can buy anything for up to ten GP. Yeah, I purposely took a quarter staff because it was zero. All right. No worries. So that yeah, okay, they're on top so of that, you can you start roll, with gold. Roll two D six. Times it by 10, and that's how much gold you get extra for your starting gold. Forty. Forty All gold. Right. So you are now sitting comfortably with 50 gold. Cool. Um, that's really low. 
It's really low. Oh, well, the really average the average roll for a wizard is seventy. So yes, <laughs> I didn't roll low. a one and a three. All right. I have like ninety two gold. Slack. I started with like almost two hundred. I think paladins get start with six d six though. He had six d six. Fuck off. You'd be taking gold away from him. <laughs> Minus... I, I, I blew it all on potions. I've Minus 10 gold for every bonus to your base attack. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think it's 66. Uh, how does check. shopping work? It's 5d6. If I purchase, and I just you look for an item? No, you have yeah. to like... Go you have to like haggle and, and, and find it if the shop actually has the items you want. Do you, do you want me to go first, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go first, and I'll I'll just bring up like the I'll just have a look for the. Thing I, and then they those guys can like look through the inventory and see what if they want anything. I guess. All right, cool. So uh, I want to go to uh, what's the best place to sell this stuff? Probably the potion vendor. Who, who? No, I don't know who would want to buy like Remora stuff. I don't think anyone would. So, so I go to I go to Torrance Hammer. I go okay. to Torrance Hammer. Okay. Uh, if I remember rightly, he speaks dwarven, but he also speaks common, so I can speak to him. That's fine. So I go in. I was it a woman? No, it's not. It's a man. It's a man. I remember. Yes, yeah, so I go into Torin's hammer and I say, "Hey, hey, Torin, uh, nice to see you." <laughs> he kind of like looks up from his anvil and it's like, "Hey, uh, how are you doing?" Do you remember me? Sure, I remember <laughs> you. Yeah, so uh, we went down the mine and we cleared out. Pretty much everything that was down there, as far as we could find, we saved a lot of the uh, the villagers. I'm pretty sure you've heard about it by now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> so we, uh, I, I wanted to see uh, what maybe what you had for sale, or perhaps have a look at what you might be able to do with some of this mithril that I that I found in the mine. You went into the mine, and you took mithril out of our mine. Yep, I mined it out of the wall. You took our mithril out of our mine. I took mithril out of the mine. Do you own the mine? No. Thorin, uh... Yeah, Thorin sent us in. Thomas owns the mine. Yeah, he sent he sent us into the mine. Yes, but you do not own the mine. Oh, no, how, of, course, of course not. Why do you have mithril from a mine you do not own? Because uh, I mined it out of the wall? On a... Okay. Um, well, what do you have? Uh... Have a look. I have nine ingots of mithril. No, you don't. You have four, not ingots. Oh, okay. Uh, so you have rivaled. nine just like chunks of mithril ore. Yeah, so I, I wrote down ingots. Maybe they're not ingots. And are ingots what you get once after you smelted it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's what. Okay, so you have nine, nine chunks nine... of mithril. Uh, yes. That's like nine pounds, right? I'm pretty sure it's nine pounds. Yep, maybe. Um, I I can take it from you and smelt it down, but you'll only get one ingot from it. What could I do with that? Not could I use it to, to coat a, uh, the edge of a blade? Uh, you can. Um, it won't make the blade as strong as it could be. And it will cost you a very pretty penny. All right. So I can't really do anything with it then. Can I... Uh, are you interested in buying anything? Any, uh, uh, any weapons or armor or anything? I could be. What do you have? So we have uh, a large heavy wooden shield. Is that the one that you bought originally? It is, yeah. Uh, bear with me. Actually, it's not a large; it's just a just a, a heavy wooden shield. 
Yeah. I cannot find it. The cost in PC Gen is 7 GP. I could take it off your hands for 4 gold. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. Okay, you take the shield, uh, sorry, he takes the shield and hands you four gold pieces. Okay, um, can I take a look at what, what you have for sale? Would you perhaps have a two-handed sword for sale? Two-handed sword. Let me check. So he kind of uh, goes off into the back nearest like weapon area, I guess you can call it. Like a bunch of weapon racks he has at back where he's kind of smelt and smithed all of his weapons. Okay. And he kind of um, <coughs> he comes back with a varied um, assortment of two hundred weapons, and he kind of places them on a on a on a table. I have uh, an orcish axe. It's so, not quite a sword, but it's two-handed. Okay. Uh, I also have a a flail, but you don't want that. I see you have one already. Yeah, I do, yeah. We also have a long hammer, a dwarven in design, and we do have a two-bladed sword. What? What is that? Is it... A it's a sword with two blades. It's usually wielded in both hands. What it's essentially fuck? like a sword attached to another sword with like a big like gap in the middle so you can hold it. Um, trying to find that in PC Gen, I can't find it. It's Is called it? a two-bladed, two-dash-bladed sword. It's probably under exotics, right? Yes, it's an exotic weapon. Do, 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 do. I can't find it. I uh, give up. Oh, wait. Maybe, you're not, maybe you can't wear it. Yeah, is, uh, probably not. It'll cost you 100 gold. Uh, what was the, the axe again? Orcish axe. Yes, we have an orcish axe. Can't find that either. Jesus. That's we also so have strong. an urgosh. An Urgosh is a dwarven axe. It's basically a spear with an axe blade attached to it. You can't throw it, but it looks like a spear with an axe blade attached to it. Mm. Uh, what about... Uh, do you have any, any armor? Any kind of plate armor or, or chainmail armor? Um, I I'm looking for some, some heavy armor, ideally. Oh, wow, they're expensive. Heavy armor. We have some banded mail, some splint mail, and some hearth blade. I can't afford any of those. <laughs> they're really expensive. OK. Um, would you be interested in buying a uh, a mace, heavy mace? Mm, let me see it. I'm kind of hand it over and okay. look. It's got twelve cost in PC gen. I can take it off your hands for perhaps ten gold. Okay, I think that sounds good. When you hand him over the mace, he gives you ten gold coins. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to do? Um, nope, I think that's, uh, that's it. I can't really afford those weapons. Oh, I can't find the other ones in PC Gen, so I can't see what they do. All right. So he thanks you for his pat your patronage, and uh, you leave Torrin's Hammer. OK. Is there anything else you would like to do? Um. I want to go to the stables and see if they have anything except horses. Uh, they don't actually have any horses. They have rams, like like giant riding rams. Okay. 
they're like the size of a horse, but they're more, they look more like a ram. And dwarves use them more than horses because they just have better stable footing on mountainous terrain. Okay. Like they're kind of, they're indigenous to mountainous terrain and um, frozen terrain. So the dwarves use those over horses because they're just more suitable for the area. Okay. Do they have anything other than the rams? Nope. Just okay. rams. Okay. So the last stop is I go to the brewery. Ah, okay. So you make way to the brewery. Mm -hmm. uh, you walk to the door, and um, it's a very small room, the one you walk in. It's more like a foyer with like a desk. And you see a, um, a kind of old-looking dwarf, gray hair, long gray beard with a big hoop like braiding it with one braid, one giant braid. And uh, he looks very disinterested and uh, a little bit depressed. Okay, so uh, I go up to him and I'm like, I'm like, hey, uh, my my name's Dunstan, and I'm a paladin. I have I've just recently helped to clear out the mines, and I heard just before I left that you were looking for some glitter cap mushrooms. Glimmer, uh, right? Glimmer cap mushrooms. That's right. He kind of perks up at the sound of this, and he's like, oh. You went at the mines and you got me some glimmer cap mushrooms. I didn't say I got you some. I said I heard that you were looking for some. Well, you heard right. I'm looking for them indeed. Our supply is running very low and uh, my business is not doing very well. <coughs> uh, that's, uh, that's, that's a shame. Um, <laughs> I, I did actually manage to find some, some mushrooms so I could... Uh, uh, the side of this, he perks up and goes, really, really? Can I can I have a look? Yeah, sure. So I, I take out uh, two of the mushrooms, one each hand, and I sh uh, show him. Uh, so you, you pull out one of the mushrooms, and the one mushroom you pull out is kind of half rotten and, and decomposing because it's been probably about three or four days since you plucked it, plucked it. so it's kind of like wilted and really um, not very usable at this point. But the second mushroom, um, he kind of grabs it off you and looks at it. It's like, hey... There may be some spores left in this. I I could possibly take this off your hands, maybe. Uh yeah. What what? How much would it be worth to you? Oh, it's always about money. Always about money. Huh. Um, he kind of ponders. I could maybe give you a hundred gold for this. Ah, really? Uh, I I do actually have more. Oh, really? How many more? I've got another two, and I pull out another two mushrooms. So you pull out two mushrooms. The again, one of them is 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 kind of unusable. It's kind of wilted, and the third one, uh, that's also kind of wilted. But there are some spore sacs left up on the mushroom itself. Okay. So he takes it away, and it's like, hmm, how about I give you two hundred and fifty gold for all of this? Oh. Um, I also have some spore sacks myself. Oh, really? Yes. So I have uh, six spore sacks. Kind of ponders himself. Uh, can I can I see them, perhaps? Yep. I take out one of the spore sacks. Show him. So the spore sack itself is kind of wilting and drying out, but you sense that it kind of mostly is pretty usable. Um, he offers you 800 gold for the whole thing, everything you have. With, with all the spore sacks? Yeah, every single mushroom-related thing you have, 800 gold. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, um, okay. I think that sounds good. I'm just going to double-check something really, really, really fast. Where are you? Nope, can't do that. Okay, yep. So, yeah, okay, 800 gold. Okay, yeah, th uh, thank Fantastic. you very much. Fantastic. He takes, he kind of like scrambles um, out of his, out of a chest under the table, some some, some coin purses, and he hands you some coin purses, and, and scrambles and grabs the mushrooms off you and says, go now, go now, I, I, I need the work. And he kind of like ushers you out of the building really, really, really quickly, closes the shop and, and kind of barricades it so it's kind of locked from the inside.
and runs off to you can hear him in, in the background kind of running off to doing some work. Oh, I wanted to just ask him his name. I for, didn't didn't say. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. There. Yeah, you look up above you and there's a sign that says <laughs> Barrow Birchbeards Brewery. Barlow Birchbeards Brewery. I'm very tempted to just go and buy some armor right now, but I need to go back to my party to deposit this money. Um, yeah, so I guess I can't really do anything from there. Um, just okay. see what else I got in my inventory. I don't think I got anything else. So I yeah, got rid of those things. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, sorry, one, one last thing real quick. So I go into the potion vendor's shop. If possible, yeah. So I, I go in and I say, uh, "Hey, Arthur," and I follow hey, Arthur's sister's name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Arthur. Hey, Arnold. Hey, so I say, Arnold. Is, do I see Arthur there? Uh, no, you do not. Is his sister there? Stay with me one second. I can't. It's the one I tried to give up for the vibe out to. Remember? I I do remember. I you put the vibe out to me. literally everyone. I was, I was uh, being all charismatic. I was all like, hey, uh, she's like 50 odd or something. She was. She was 58, and David actually successfully um, swooned her. Yep. Fuck, where's my NPC list gone? It doesn't matter. It does matter for me. <laughs> okay, her name was. Wait, that's your fames. Her name was Sherry. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I remember. Okay. Sherry Williams. So you walk in, and Sherry is actually stood there um, on the other side of the counter. You say, oh, hello. Hi, hi, hi Sherry. Uh, yeah, we, we, we're back. We, we went on the mines, and we managed to clear out most of the problems. So I'm hoping that the mines should be able to reopen. Oh, that, that's that's fantastic. Um, uh, uh, how how can I help you? Ah, well, I'm wondering if you could take a look at a um a vial that I have of a strange liquid that I that I commandeered while down there. I wanted to see if it had any magical properties which you could maybe use to create um, a potion for me. So I take out the where are you? I take out my ten cc's worth of strange liquid that I got from the Remora blood. Remora. Or oh, the, the stuff that was inside the Remora. Yep. Um, and I just, I kind of show her, and then I explain what the creature that it came from. See if she okay. has worked with anything like that before. Uh, no, I've never heard of such a creature. This is, well, I've heard of them, but I, I didn't, I've never seen one myself. Um, and you kind of hand the vial over to her, and she kind of looks at it and says, I, I could probably um, check this out for you for perhaps 25 gold. Yeah, um, that, that'd be great. Uh, when, like, how, how long would it take, roughly? Oh, uh, give me perhaps 20 minutes and, and come back. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot, Sherry. Um, and I, I hand her 25 gold. Okay. Um, that's me pretty much. Uh, actually, I just I qu quickly ask her if she's interested in buying any of these things, and then I show her like, pretty much a broken thing, a, a load of stuff. So I show her Remora fangs, uh, Remora tentacles, uh, gunpowder. So, as you hand it, like put the Remora tentacles on the counter, a uh, pungent, horrible, fishy smell emits from the air. And you can see now that the Remora tentacles themselves are beginning to wall away. Okay. Um, they are not quite salvageable in this form. You can see that they're just kind of drying out and rotting away. They're not very usable. Okay. So she doesn't really want those. Okay. Um, the gunpowder, she's not really interested. She's more of a potion vendor over an alchemist directly. Okay. She kind of uh, deals with magical potions and buying and selling of magical potions directly, not necessarily creating Oh, she them. doesn't create them. No, okay. No, she's oh, not, sorry, she's I thought she created them. She's not nature. Right. Yeah, well, yeah. And what was the other thing? The fangs. Yeah, three Remora fangs. 
Yeah, she she doesn't really deal with things of this nature. So okay. it's purely just a vendor of potions. She kind of is a, a more of an intermediary more than anything else. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so she doesn't want any of that stuff. Uh, and yeah, so that's good. I'm done. Okay, who's next? So yeah, I'll just go back to the tavern and wait for you guys. Uh, but I throw the Ramora things away. Okay. Into, into an actual bin, not just litter. I don't litter. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Um, Rolo strides up to the doors of the tavern, dusts his, uh, his coat down, uh, puts on a winning smile and steps in. <laughs> okay, so as you walk through the door, you are met by a pungent smell of ale, like soaked into years and years worth of like any kind of cloth in this cavern. Like 90% of this tavern is made of stone, but what little isn't is very ale soaked. And there's a good six or seven uh, patrons in this tavern, kind of like um, mostly along the bar and around one of the tables towards the far end of the room. Kind of all drinking and just cheering and just having a good time. And as you walk through the door, they kind of like stop, look over to you for a few seconds, and then continue doing what they're doing. Uh, I'd like to roll a perception check to see who's the most inebriated. Okay, go for it. <coughs> oh. <laughs> So as you can kind of guess, most of the people in this room is inebriated. You can't really tell who's more or less inebriated than anyone else. Okay. Um, is there anyone sitting on their own at a table? Um, not really. Most of the people are kind of like gathered together talking. Um, there are two people sat at the bar, though, like the bar area. Okay, I'll So not on up. their own, but... Together. I woke up. Uh, next to next to them and order an ale and ask how those two guys are doing. Okay, so Morin, the the barkeep, kind of comes over to you and you you gesture for an ale and he goes off to gather gather you um, one of the ales that they have and you kind of lean over to the the two uh, people sitting there. There's one um, dwarven female and one dwarven male. There is, uh, and they kind of like look over to you and like, hey, um, not too bad. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, just traveling, you know, seeing different towns, seeing what this kind of what this part of the country has to offer, you know. Oh, okay. I had a really good time the last few weeks. This place is pretty cool. Have you been here for a while? Are you sure you're in the right town? No, I've just arrived in this town, but I've been kind of around the area for a little bit. Oh, it's a really charming part of the part of the world. Uh, you've uh, you've arrived at a quite peculiar time. Oh, was that? Um, I I best not say. Ah, oh, over rails, you know. You can tell me anything. Uh, nah, I, 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 it's not really worth it. And he kind of like shimmies away and edges away from you a little bit. Kind of keeping to himself. He, uh, give me a insight check. Insight. I don't have that as a skill. Is that? Oh, as okay, a then. Insight. So, be Mark, insight wisdom. in this game is uh, sense motive. Uh, sense yeah, motive. Sense motive. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> You can't really tell why he's shying away from you. He just looks a little bit distraught in the questions you're asking. Okay, I pick up my ale. I'm assuming it's on the bar now. I pick it up and walk over to another group of people. Before, and... you, before you kind of get up and start walking over and the bar keep kind of, hey, how are you going to pay for that? <laughs> Good point. How much do I eat, bar keep? Um, just... One silver, which is one tenth of a gold. So point okay. one gold. I uh, give him two pieces of silver and say I'll be back for another pretty soon. Hey, not bad, not bad. Uh, so yeah. you all. <laughs> I walk over to another group of people in the bar. Okay. 
uh, say, hey guys, mind if I mind if I join you? Okay, so you kind of sit down next to uh, three humans and uh, two dwarfs. Um, you kind of gather that they are the working class of this city because they're very tattered, worn clothing. They look like miners covered in soot. And they kind of, hey, uh, a little reserved. Hey, you can come sit with us, I, I suppose. It's a free country after all. Haha, <laughs> that, that it is. And I sit down and I say, how do you guys feel about magic? <laughs> Two of the dwarves are like, eh, what? Uh, but one of the humans is like, I really, I, I really, really like magic. Oh, me too. I've been practicing a lot recently. Do you want to see some tricks? Oh, yeah, yeah. And like four of the other people are like, the fuck? What's going on? <sighs> this guy is like really into it. So I uh, pretend to spill my ale over the table and use press the digitation to make the ale kind of swoosh back up into my, into my tankard. <laughs> and then so just like as you, grin. As you spill this ale, the two dwarves are like, no, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like really, really like shocked that you're actually wasting alcohol. <laughs> but as you kind of pull it back into the mug, they're like, oh, that's, that's really cool. And they're all like really quite enthralled with your magic abilities right now. Yeah, I wouldn't waste any ale, trust me. I take a massive, a massive glug from my tankard, <laughs> uh, and then I say, "I say, do you want to see another trick?" Hey, yeah, go for it, go for it. Okay, I'm really into you right now. Cool. So I pull out a deck of cards, uh, and I take three cards out. One of them is a queen. I show them the queen, and I would like to try and make them wager that they can't guess where the queen goes when I. Shuffle the cards around. Shuffle three cards around. So okay. essentially playing three card Monty. Okay, so give me a bluff check for this one. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so you want them to bet money on this, right? I do, yeah. Okay. Okay, so they all kind of like, they're a little bit into it. Two, the two dwarves who were kind of initially there, they're like, no, no, we're okay. not really parting with our money. But the two uh, no the, problem, the three no humans problem. that are sitting no. there, they kind of throw in two gold each. Okay. So you have six gold on the table right now. Cool. Um, so I'll say, okay, you get, you get the first one for free. Uh, so I start shuffling the cards around. Uh, and I lay the three cards flat face down and say, Try and find the queen. Okay, so so they're all kind of like talking amongst themselves, talking amongst themselves, kind of guessing which one's which, and they kind of tap the one on the left hand side. Okay, I would like to cast a silent image on that card and make it look like the queen as I turn okay. it over. Okay. Um, is there a DC to this? Uh. Unless they interact with it, no. Okay, so you do this and you flip it over, and it is the queen. Oh, that's amazing! That's amazing! Nice, uh, so I turn back over, break down, and say, "This one's the money." Uh, as I shuffle the cards around again, and I say, "Okay, let's try again." So they tap the one in the middle this time. I would like to use press the station again, and. Make the queen flip over, and they win. And I give them the money. Say, "Well done. How about how about another try?" <laughs> okay. At this point in time, they're all really into the queen. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Brilliant. So, uh, how about a little bit, a little bit more money this time? <laughs> Make it a bit more interesting. Uh, the one dwarf kind of looks at you and says, "How how much more interesting?" Uh. Let's say double it, 12 gold pieces. They nod and, and toss uh, between them all 12 gold off the table. Brilliant. I uh, turn the cards face down, shuffle them around, and the last time say, find the queen. They once again tap the left hand side. I would like to cast silent image on that and make it some, like a king or something and okay. flip it over. 
So as you flip this that. card over, they're like, ah, oh, damn it, fuck. Yeah. One of the dwarves curses and throws his ale, and the other guy <laughs> punches it because he's throwing his ale and waits. <laughs> uh, too bad, guys. Uh, I leave them the rest of my, my tankard, uh, swipe the coin into my coat pocket, and walk off to the bar. Okay, so tankard. you've just gained plus six gold. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'll just stay in there drinking my tankard, my second tankard of ale. All right, cool. Mabron. Cool. What would you like um, to do? So the only thing I want to do is buy a crossbow. Um, okay. So I guess Thorin's hammer would be the best place for that. There's not yep. yet another like. Way over to Thorin's hammer. So, yeah, I yep. shall uh, head on over there. Um, and uh, just enter the. Is it a smithy, or is it a weapon? Merchant yeah, or... it's essentially uh, a smithy slash blacksmith slash weapon merchant. Okay. Um, like, he's basically the go-to guy of this little thing. So, yeah, I will just uh, just walk in and say, uh, hello? He kind of looks up from his anvil and says, hey, how can I help you? Turns back down and starts wailing on some metal. And he's a dwarf, yeah? Everybody in this town's a dwarf, pretty much? Hmm... About 70% of the population is dwarf, 30% human. Okay. So I say, uh, uh, hello, Master Dwarf. Um, I am uh, I am in need of a, a ranged weapon. I was wondering if you had any crossbows for sale. He looks up and he's like, I, we have a few crossbows. Would you like um, a regular or repeating crossbow? Uh, just something simple, uh, my friend. Just a, a simple, regular, light crossbow. The light crossbow. Okay. So he kind of goes off and picks up uh, a crossbow, puts it down on the counter. It's a very nicely designed crossbow, fairly well crafted. Like, I, we have a crossbow here. It's, uh, I can sell it to you for 38 gold. Uh, that seems, uh, hang on. Uh, that's a. Uh... Do I have? Is there a skill for um, for haggle? Is there not a haggle skill? Um, I was gonna say it's gonna be a um, charisma. Oh, charisma. Okay. Um, yeah, so just go, oh, it's a, a little high, and surely you must, you must have, you must have several of these around. Uh, but with the guards and travelers coming in and out, um, surely you can let it go for closer to thirty gold. <laughs> you can give me a charisma roll there. Oh, it could be bluff. No, no. It's so, a straight up charisma. Just roll. straight charisma. So one d twenty plus my charisma modifier. Yeah. Man, I roll yeah. low. Look at it, he's like, hey, but you know, a lot of people want these crossbows. So, how about thirty, thirty-five? Say thirty-two, <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll throw in my my sling and bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Which I will no longer need. Surely you can uh, you can sell those on for the for the <laughs> what did I say for the three gold extra? Uh, how how many how many bolt, uh, bullets do you have? How many bullets do I have? Um, I have. I'm going to say I have fifty bullets. Yeah, all right, all right. We'll do it for thirty-two. Deal. <laughs> okay, so I will. Um, and will you uh, will you give me some bolts as well? well? I'll give you ten bolts. Ten bolt. Okay. And um, I would also like to buy an additional twenty bolts. <coughs> All right. They will just be the standard price for those. Okay. Which is, I think, two extra gold for twenty. No. Okay. So four extra gold for twenty. So thirty-six gold total then. Yeah, thirty-six gold for light crossbow and twenty bolts. Cool. Oh, and... no, thirty bolts. I will shift off. So I still have ten bullets, um, which I'm just going to keep because I like to have bullets <laughs> for tricks and things. Just, you just want to cast light on them? Yeah. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> Let's just flick them down corridors. <laughs> 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 but the other fifty he can have. Um, okay, and um, with that, I just uh, I just say I I noticed there was uh, there seemed to be quite a lot of uh, bustle among the town. There's, there's an awful lot of guards around. There's, we, is the town expecting any trouble? 
he kind of looks in uh, close to you and I know you went down the mine to help Thorin. The town is already in trouble. He kind of pulls away from you because you're leaning close and, and no, no, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, I um, I I sort of nod my understanding to him and say, ah, uh, it's it's good to hear there are no problems then. And uh, I I tip him a slight wink and then I I head out and uh, I head to the tavern to uh, to meet up with the rest of the party. He reciprocates your wink and ushers you on your way. Connor, would you like to do anything? I too would like to go to Thorin's Hammer. All right. Uh, hello, good sir. Why, hello, fine maiden. How can I help you? And he starts wailing on his anvil still. A lot of traffic into my store today, you know. <clears throat> yes, appears so. Lots of extra guards on the gates, too. He kind of like has a little grimace in his in his voice. Yeah, I too many if you ask me. Um, I was wondering if you have any long swords for sale. Long swords. I we have a few. We have a few. Kind of picks one up and puts it down on the counter. We have a nice, nice fine blade here. I uh, just finished crafting this one myself yesterday. Pick it up and feel the weight and give it a swoosh around. You seem like a dab hand with the sword. Thank you. <laughs> um, how much would this sword be going for? I could sell it to you for. 16 gold pieces. Um, not really one for haggling, so here you go, sir. Oh, great, great. So he uh, hands you the blade. Well, you already have the blade. He just takes the gold off you. Is there anything else I can help you with? <laughs> uh, does the sword come with a scabbard? Of course, of course. And he kind of like rustles through some some stuff and he kind of like picks up a very nicely designed one, blows some dust off it. And I, here they go. I think this one will fit just nicely. Thank you. And I'm also in need of a few more light crossbow bolts myself. How many would you like? Just 10 should do. He kind of uh, goes out back, comes back with ten bolts, puts them on the table, and he says, tell you what, one gold for these. Thank you, kind sir. I guess I'll, I'll say my goodbyes and make my way out of the shop. Okay, he kind of winks at you and ushers you out the door and gets back to his anvil. Come back soon. Well done. Okay, is there anything else the party would like to do? What's, what's the spin just sent him out? Uh, that's a well. Like the the um, squares around it and along the side, those are supposed to be like fruit vendors and just general vendors that set up shop outside that they don't actually have a, a building to sell from. But the circle in the center is a giant well. Okay. Um, um, I'll just have a nose around those vendors and maybe pick up a few odd bits of food. Yeah, you could buy a couple of uh, apples or fruit or that kind of stuff around this area. Nothing, nothing that's really above ground related. It's mostly um, under surface fruit. Disgusting fruit. Then. <laughs> Disgusting fruit, like mushrooms and that kind of stuff. Can I swing by Torrance Hammer one more time on the way back? You can. Now that I've got that cash money, cash money. Um, uh, go back in and go... Before I even say anything, I want to try and influence his attitude. You know, Torrin, 
me and me and you are, we are friends, right? You know, we 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 we're, we're growing closer over these uh over these these days. As you know, I, you're here knocking the same anvil day after day after day, and I'm doing good around the town, making everyone safer. We're we're getting closer, right? Um, sure. Okay. Can I make a influence attitude check? On okay, him? sure. <clears throat> uh, is he currently indifferent to me or friendly? I'd say he's indifferent. What? <laughs> Just saved his town. This guy. He's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Right. But at the moment, he's a little bit uneasy. He's on edge. All right. So here's my diplomacy. Ba, 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 ba. <sighs> okay. These rolls tonight. So, oh my god. So he's like, I, I suppose we're now more friendly. Um, uh, why? Why do you ask? What's? Uh, how can I help you? I, I just want to. I just want to make sure that um, I, I'm doing the best I can for everybody. Is there anything I could do to help you? Maybe is there any, any materials that you would like me to try and keep an eye out for and bring bring back for you? Uh, Speaking of, I think that um, as we were talking about earlier, maybe maybe this mithril does belong to the town, and I, I want you to have it. So I give him all nine bits of the mithril. Ah, oh, that's amazing! Thank you very much. Oh. And I, I extend my hand and I just say, uh, it's nice to know that, that I have a, another friend in this town. And I hope you, you realize that you have a friend in me. Thank you. It's like, yes, yes, of course, of course. That's, that's fantastic of you. That's amazing. Since, since Thomas has taken over as magistrate, we're uh, very limited in our supplies from the mines. This will be great. Did you just say, sorry, did you say Thomas t took over as magistrate? I should not have said that. Um, yes. Uh, okay, the, kind of, what, what happened you, to, was it? Before you say anything, he kind of like shushes you and pulls you behind the counter, and pulls you out back <laughs> towards where his forge is. And once you get out there, there's another dwarf kind of like smelting away, and he kind of like ushers him out of the room. Uh, Thorin got taken over as magistrate about two days ago. Oh, Thomas no. came into the town, and uh, he bought out the militia in the town, and he overthrew it, and he's claimed it as his own. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I yeah, I, I don't sneeze. <laughs> so I say that's. I guess that's not really illegal, but that's not that's not great. A great way to kind of take over a town. No, and we uh, still what, don't know where Thorin is either. What did did the militia remove him forcibly? Do you know? I have only known rumors. I do not know what happened entirely. Um, maybe it might be best if you go speak to Thomas himself. I think that that is a good idea. Uh, I also need I need to speak to Ragmore. I know he would be troubled by this. Uh, I I actually came in um, to maybe uh, purchase the the splint mail that you showed me earlier. The the heavy splint mail. Heavy split mail. Yeah, so armor, proficiency heavy, and then splint mail, you said you had, right? I, I. <clears throat> uh, could I, could I purchase this from you? He kind of uh, pulls you to one side, goes, you, you were still in the forge area at this point in time. Yeah. He kind of goes off and pulls out some split mail and brings it to you and says, I. You can take this for 150. Oh, th thank, thank you very much, Torn. This will help a, a great deal. Um, and if if you ever need me, uh, I'll be around, and I'll always I'll always be there to assist you if you need me. I appreciate that, but 
if there's anything you can do for the town, that would be greatly appreciated. I will, I will. I will get to the bottom of this. Thank you very much. And uh, if you don't mind, I think we might rouse suspicion. So, and he kind of pushes you out of the, the okay. area and pushes you back behind the counter and he says, is there anything you'll be, uh, anything else you'll be wanting, sir? Uh, no, no. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. He nods and stops and looks at you dead in the eye and nods a very slow nod as you leave. I give him the same nod back and then I put my hand to my chest like this and then I walk out. So you guys are meeting in the tavern? Yep. Oh, I just actually, want to yeah, mark my gold um, off and stuff. As you go to the, the potion vendor to inspect the potion, uh, it's been about 20 minutes. Yep. Um, you kind of go over and um, she says, I could, uh, this is uh, an element used in uh, creating water breathing potions. Uh, potentially we could use this to make mm, three water breathing potions. That would be amazing. Uh, could you do that, Sherry? Uh, potentially. I'd, I'd have to go through a uh, a broker, as it were. Okay. Um, how much will it? How much will it cost? And how long would it take to create the potions themselves? Yes. <coughs> uh, the potions themselves cost seven hundred and fifty gold each. Uh, but since you have the main ingredient, we could probably make the potions themselves for one hundred and fifty gold each. Hmm. Or I could buy this off you for, say, 500 gold. I think that it's, I need to speak to my friends about this. This is quite a big purchase. So I'll, I'll take the, the liquid for now and I'll return. She nods and hands it back to you and says, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Shari. Uh, so yeah, I make my way back to the tavern. Uh, can I see Ragmore about? Perception check. All right. It's going to be rubbish. Well, uh, as far as you're aware, he's off doing his own thing. You've not heard from him. You've not seen him in the past half hour to an hour. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so I just make my way to the town. Cool. So you um, make your way over. So... You join Rolo with a pint. Was it? It was eight hundred gold you made from the glimmer caps, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, so I'm giving. Once I get, are you still in there? Yeah. 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 If you're in the tavern, I'm just yeah. going to walk in and just like give you all the rest of the money. So I, the rest of the money that I have, I've got five hundred and ten left. Ooh. Okay, that's after yeah. buying armor and. Did you? Did you craft the potions? Did she craft potions? No, no, I didn't. It costs twenty-five gold to appraise the potion itself. Yeah. Oh, I, I know, I know why. I know why. I know why. It's because I double-clicked the splint mail to put it into my, and it took two hundred off. So seven hundred and ten I've got left. Right. Okay. Cool. So I'll put. So I give. Uh, in. Well, not not seven ten, not seven ten. I keep a hundred floating gold. So uh, I've got. Oh, is that you your have... gold as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that was everything I have. So I'll give you 600 gold, basically. Okay, awesome. Right. So party funds, we have 824 gold. Nice. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty much done. And then now. whatever I've, everyone I've has individually. Cool. All right, so what's going to happen next? Um, yeah, so I basically I uh, I tell the tell the guys um, I was talking to Torin and I found out that uh, Thorin, which is the old magistrate, old leader of this town, Wait, has been there overthrown. A, there's a Torin and a Thorin. Yes. <laughs> Fucking dwarves. <laughs> Keep your voice down. <laughs> there's uh there's Torin. Th Thorin and their other triplet called Thrallin as well. <laughs> Th Thrallin. <laughs> so I I just explained that like uh, I think that he's been overthrown. I think that there's a there was a guy called Thomas Thomas Vincent was it Thomas something like that. It was Thomas Vins. 
Vims. What was it? Thomas Vims was a unsavory character that I met that seemed to believe that money spoke louder than words, and he seemed to have an interest in taking this town over last time I was here. Um, it seems like he's got his wish, and he's purchased the services of the, the militia in town. Uh, we need to... Uh, I kind of bring everyone really close so no one can overhear, and I kind of whisper, and I just say, I think that, you know, we need to be careful of the militia, and I think we need to get we need to find Vims, find out what's going on, and, and find Thorin. Because Thorin's been missing since the militia took over. Okay. We also need um, to find Ragmore because Ragmore is very close friends with Thorin. Is uh, Thingy still with us? Um, Ariana? Yep, she's been following Dunstan around. Okay. Since he's um, the one with the orb. And uh, so I just say I'd, I'd like to get your input on this, Ariana. You said we we have to go and meet the um, the elders of your order. But is it time sensitive? Do we can we travel freely um, onwards with the town in this state? She tells you eh, it's not time sensitive per se, but ideally, I'd like to get you there as quickly as I can. Have uh, have you ever heard of this uh, this Thomas Vims? It seems a strange coincidence uh, that the town is overthrown mere around the same time that we were we were taken captive by your order. Uh, just to catch you and Richie and uh, Ray, um, Thomas Vims was on the wagon that came to this town that took uh, Dunstan and his party members, uh, Jace and the other guys who are not here, Jaden, sorry, right. who are not here now. Uh, he came along here with the uh, premise to actually buying the town off uh, Thorin. I see. And during the discussion, Thorin kicked him out of the office. They overheard him and he kicked him out and told him, he doesn't want to see him ever again. Okay. Um, but she kind of glances over and she says, I'm afraid not. I do not know of this man. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh my God. So, oh, Jesus. Is he your AC? Yeah. Well, it's not my AC. Like, I put this armor on and it gives me massive negative effects to loads of things. <laughs> heavy armor, isn't it? <laughs> massive, massive negative. Doesn't your Minus movement seven and your attack bonus go right down? Minus seven to the str uh, stealth, minus seven to ride, <laughs> minus seven to fly, minus seven to escape artist, <laughs> minus seven to climb, <laughs> oh, fuck. minus eleven to acrobatics. Oh. Yep. <laughs> heavy armor, mate. I yeah, forget I'm you've been running around in just like your, your jeans and a t-shirt this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But yeah, I've got the AC now, so yeah. Um, so yeah, we need to we need to go potentially up to see to see Thomas Vims to find out what's going on. Will you have time to rest? I, I hope you so. Do you want. You're in a town. Yeah. I'd like to rest. Yes. You would. You you know him the best of of all of us. Um, yeah, I actually I actually staying? got to know. I he he will be staying in the magistrate's uh, place, which is up there. Okay. I think. Um. So I think I think we should rest and then go and see him uh, maybe tomorrow. And We've had a long day today, and I've I was being tortured this morning when I woke up. So <laughs> you're, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> was was he traveling alone, or did he have companions? Uh, with him? He had some companions. No, no one of actually no, he did not have companions. Sorry, I thought he did, but he didn't. Yeah, he did. He traveled alone. Um, we did actually get to know each other, like. He's actually quite friendly with me, but I subsequently learned that he's a rather unsav unsavory character. But he isn't necessarily evil. He just has a, a kind of so, skewed view on, on morality. I just want to get this clear in my head. He's traveled here alone, um, and with the resources he has on hand, he has somehow bought out the town's mercenary guards. And yes. declared himself magistrate and owner of the mine. Well, just he he came here alone to try to do that first time, and he got shut down, and then he left, oh. and then we went down the mines. So I'm assuming he may have went away and came back. Okay, possibly. Yeah, just just for time scale sake, you've probably been from when you went to the mines to now is about five days. Okay. And did you say the nearest town was three days away, Stoneport? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, th I think we rest. 
Uh, I tonight. know, I know a place we can we can rest. Can we not stay want, here we, at the tavern? We could, but I know a place we can rest for free. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got a sweet little, uh, sweet little <laughs> deal. <laughs> Rollo's creeped out for interest. <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to be another woman? Actually, no, monster? I'm not going to do that. No, we stay in, I, I think we should stay in the town. Let's just stay in the town. Uh, so okay. we, we got to Mor Morrigan, was it? Morin. Morin? Morin, yeah. And I say, oh, hi, Morin. Hi. Not to be confused hey, with how Thorin. Are you doing? You came Thorin. back from the mines. <laughs> I know. I'm still in one piece. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Hey, have, have one on the house. And he kind of slides you over. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, there's no need for that, but that, I much appreciate it, and I just put drop one silver down, and uh, yeah, and I uh, take a take a sip, and I get smash because I'm a lightweight. <laughs> Fort of, uh, what's it? Constitution saving throw, fortification saving throw. Fort saving throw. Yeah. That's for that's for whether or not you get drunk. <laughs> oh my rolls. Oh, oh my fire. god. You're fine, man. You're fine. You downed the entire pint. You feel great. What? Okay. Uh, I. Yeah, so I ask Morin, um, could, could, we, <laughs> could we get some rooms to stay the night? Would that be possible? Uh, for how many of you? So there's f five of us at the moment. Uh, is that a room each? Um, one room for Kana, and then. Actually, we'll get three rooms, so we get one room. No, actually, yeah, one room, room one room each. How much are the rooms? <laughs> Probably uh, should have asked that we first. Have, <laughs> we we have the fifty small, silver apiece. Three gold each, large ten gold each. So we take five small rooms. Yeah, five, five, okay. five. So that's 15 gold, and you get those uh, one small room each. Okay, thank you I'll very much. Out. And I guess kind of point to maybe him. He's the, he's the money. Yeah, I take it out of the pie. Warren looks over to you, throws him some coin, he takes it. Hi, let me show you to your room. And he kind of leads you um, from where the bar is. He kind of leads you downstairs. Uh, you think it's upstairs, but it's not. It's downstairs. You go downstairs, and there uh, it's a long corridor full of rooms. On the left-hand side, or on the right hand side, both all of them small. Okay, so um, I I will like wait until everyone else has allocated rooms. So it's just me and Morin left. Yeah. And I'll just kind of like pull it close, and I just say, uh, Morin, um, I've heard that there's some been some developments recently in the in the town. I I don't know what you're talking about. I've heard that Thorin has been uh, removed as a magistrate. Do you know anything about this? Uh. No, I, I do not. I should probably go back upstairs. Okay. 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 I understand. Um, uh, stay safe, Morin, anyway. Uh, just know that the I'll uh, I'll be doing my best to make sure that everything is put right that was done wrong. He looks at you gingerly, nods, and walks back upstairs. <laughs> okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I slink into my room. Take my armor off, do some backflips. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys Talk resting now? It, just, yeah. just for you know, it's about seven thirty in the evening. Yeah, I was getting tortured five five thirty in the morning, so I'm alright to sleep. Alright. So you guys <laughs> heading, crash for the night, having nights good rest, and you wake up fully rested at about nine thirty in the morning. Yeah. Um, Cool. Since it's almost four in the morning for you guys, do you guys want to call it there or do you want to keep going? It's entirely up to you guys. Uh, I don't uh, know. I'd like to call it there because I'll be up in two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's good. shit. So you want to go two more hours, right? <laughs> 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 Alright then, so we'll call it there. You guys have oh. just waked me up from a well deserved rest from Very being captured and tortured. Point. Nice. I'm very surprised because I was rushing to get so much content done and I expected this from start to finish would take about an hour and a half. It's <laughs> taken almost four hours. Is that, is that cave? <laughs> it was the cave. I'm really cave. surprised. 
The trolls are beasts. Yeah. What? We There's only know. one beast today. Let's be honest. If all of you are paladins, you would have killed them all in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah. It's not because I'm a paladin. It's just because I'm a fighter. If we were, if I was a fighter, I'd do even more damage than that. Yeah, you probably would. Yeah, we don't have many. Well, we don't have any really melee characters apart from you, do we? <laughs> well, not anymore, the two no. NPC ones are just terrible. Yeah. <laughs> one one gets stunned, you know, fumbling around with his warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dropping it. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> Cool. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll call it there, I guess. Cool. Uh, quick question when we rest, can we relearn spells? Or yeah, a, a prepare full, different spells? I mean. Yeah, a full rest, you can prepare new spells for the next day, or recharge, well, you recharge them all anyway. But you can prepare new spells for the next day if you want. All right. Cool. Um, but if you'd like, we can do that next session. Yeah. Yeah, you just do it in the time in between, like, yeah. you just prepare your character yeah. sheet for the next time. Awesome. Um, That's probably the best one. Uh, but yeah, you were fully healed, uh, you were fully rested, you get all these spells back. Alright, so I Sweet. guess we need some XP. We need some XP. You do. So I'm going to give you out now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so we can apply it before the next session. Alright, so for the trolls. For the what, sorry? For the ice trolls. Oh, okay. You get 2,200, no. 2,400 each. All together, yeah? For the trolls. Yeah, for the trolls. Both, both trolls are worth 1,200. Oh, that just came me to level 2. <laughs> no, you, uh, you need to make sure that Same NPC here. gen, that you're on slow, XP, t XP table yeah. slow. Um, I'm on ah. slow. And yeah. I'm okay. still level 2. Cool. And everyone gets a bonus of... Um, Everyone except Dunson gets 250 extra. Dunson gets 300. Oh. Um, for, for hit points um, yep. on level up, do we just... Is it a roll? Does it... Yeah, you roll the hit die, I think. It's like it's like 1d8 or something. I don't know. Okay. Whatever it is for your class. Um, also, Bray, since you kind of picked up halfway... You get a bonus of 500 just to kind of catch up to what they did in the previous sessions. Cool. That's level 2 for me as well. Nice. Thank you. Theoretically, right. you should all be level 2. Um, oh, I'm going to say Oliver only gets 500 experience for the session. And was it, okay. two, it was 250 for the bonus, yeah? Yeah, you get 250 for your bonus. The only reason Molly got 300 is because he's level 2. Like uh, the modifier oh. multiplies it by level. Cool. How much should we get for the trolls? 2,400. Each. Yes. Mm -hmm. Each person got it, yeah. Let's see, what do I get at level two? That's right, I get an extra zero level spell. I'm do my level tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed, guys. Cool. Good Good nice one, Richie. Cheers, okay, mate. I'll see you. Up. See you soon. Good night. Uh, I was just going to oh. throw out, Mark, the, the spell that I was going to select for level 2 was Daze, um, but it also is only effective on humanoids with 4 or less hit dice. So if we are likely to be facing higher hit dice creatures, I'll pick something else. Oh, uh, you don't know. I can't well, tell yeah, you. you. Yeah, but know. like at level 2, we should not be facing anything with four, 4 or less hit dice, so I just I don't want to pick something that's completely fucking useless for the next 5 levels. <laughs> That's well, because we know. got a big party. I think it makes sense if Mark, like he would, he would have to just throw like wave after wave of little creatures at us. Yeah, that's, but like, so this of... is a useful spell. I think it would be really useful, but 
not if we're going to be fighting things that are higher than would be expected. Well, like I said, you don't know. Like We did fight a bunch of kobolds in the second session. And in the first session, we fought bandits, which were pretty easy. Uh, in the third session, we only fought hard things. And today, we've only fought hard things. Yeah. But like you never know. I guess it could be wherever. It's up to you whether you take it or not. Well, that's what I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to say if if we're fighting stuff that you would usually fight at level two, this is a useful spell. But if we're fighting stuff that's of higher hit dice that's been scaled down to be like hit point appropriate, but has more hit dice naturally, it's going to be useless. Yep, yeah, that is true. Like, you know, the interesting thing about this, I did not scale the trolls at all. I just scaled how many you fought. Like, you were supposed to fight three to six. Jesus. I just get, get, got you to fight two. I'll pick something else. Um, but I don't see the point uh, what's, of taking a spell. What's the hit dice thing for that thing? Four or less. It can stun five or greater. It, does, it literally does nothing. <laughs> okay, and is it's that for the other spell too? It's not because it's a shit spell, It's a low, yeah, exactly. It is, like, it's a low level, level spells spell. don't work on decent creatures. So, like, even when you get up to level nine, it's not a good spell. Like, you won't. It's no, a shit spell, but I know level, we're low level. Exactly, it's a level it zero a spell. Like, it's you'll get it's a like, cantrip. You'll be able to do it later on. You'll get like you're casting cantrips of people. That's all I've got. Like at level two, I get a, a level zero spell. I don't get any okay. good spells until. I get a second level spell at level four. Wow. So, I I get a th an additional first level spell at three and a second level spell at level four. Okay. So that's that's what I have to work with. So, <laughs> <laughs> like that's because you're a sorcerer, though. But like, like if nothing can spells. be hit by anything I cast until fourth level, then that might be an issue. Okay. Well, or I'll, I'll just be using the crossbow. A lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that like, into consideration. Like, to be fair, like in the first two sessions, you would have been able to do all of that stuff for most of it. Yeah, actually, I don't. Well, like I, I, say, like I'm, I'm, I don't even know how many. Hit I'm dice happy to pick a different spell has. than days if we are going to be fighting stuff of, of higher hit dice. But well, we, I'm sure it'll be a mix. It'll be a mix of uh, higher and lower. Okay, but what I'm telling you is, it's not supposed to be a mix at this level. <laughs> yeah, but what, we're a massive uh, party. Well, not massive, but we're, we're like there's four. a lot of us. It's supposed to be. Five of you plus the NPC characters that I'm adding. Yeah, if David and Oliver had showed up today, we would, we would have just walked all the way through those trolls. Easy. I'll pick something else. There would have been loads of us. Yeah, there would have been six of us and two NPCs, so it would have been that's, eight. That's, that's literally the only reason why I'm throwing like harder things at you, is because there's just so many of you. But what I'm saying is that a lot of the low-level spells become literally completely useless. After, because okay. you're not supposed to be fighting well, these things. Like, if you, if I had, so if I was at level four, I would have second level spells and additional first level spells to use, which I would be using instead of yeah. fucking cantrips. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'll take, I'll take this on, I'll take this on board. I will, I t I'll have a look at um at different uh, uh different level zero spells anyway, because well, I don't, I've I don't already... want to pick things that are just useless, you know. I, yeah, that's fine. I, I I've already got like what I want planned ahead of what's going on now, and it, I promise you it won't be as hard as the trolls. But it will be as hard as the trolls, but just not that level cap of the trolls. Okay, cool. I, I mean, oh, I, sorry, I, I really shouldn't be saying this, but I don't. I I, I want to make sure that you guys are like enjoying it as much as I want you to. So. I, if you were feeling like you were, your character is useless at this point, I don't want that to happen. So yeah, sure. I'm, yeah. Sure, sure. So yeah, fr from now on, Dunstan says, I'll just fight with one arm behind my back to give you guys a chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mate, it's yeah, like, it's if, if you imagine they were, they were um, from your point of view, you couldn't hit them except with magical weapons. That's what that fight yeah, was like no, for me. I, I see your point of view. I see your point of view. Like, there, there's just like barely like, anything you can do. Oh well, fight. use your sling to do a maximum of like, one hit point of damage. Don't, don't you have like spells like um, level one spells where you have like protection from evil and stuff like that? Uh, like yeah, that would have been amazing in that fight. 
I didn't take it because I have, as a sorcerer, I have massively limited amounts of spells. I can only have two level one spells. I know, but like, other than color spray, like, what else do you have that's useful? Silent that level one. Oh, that's level one. Is it? I thought it was a cantrip. Okay. Nah. Yeah, so the, the well, silent image was ones, really, really so... useful for us. We wouldn't have got the prize <laughs> round without that. It's like that was pretty useful. But like in that surprise round, meant, they're, they're not meant to like walk in and just destroy everything yeah. with fireballs and stuff. In so that surprise did. round, you basically took the troll down to half health. Yeah. Just out of that surprise round. Where the hell is this fucking spells list? Spells. <laughs> I'm glad I got some armor on. Jesus, these checks though. What's your AC right now? 17 now. Class Mage Armor, pretty soon. Yep. 21. And if I smite stuff. That Does AC that put you at like 23 AC? AC? That's fucking insane. I know. See, it's going to be literally impossible to hit him. <laughs> Below a natural 20, it's not going to be possible. Mm hmm. Just have to get him like flat footed or grappled or something. Fuck I'm, a, I'm slightly, yeah. slightly scared of me, me, just to be honest. For now, anyway. Once I get a bit higher level, I think if we fight a high level mage, we'll be completely fucked. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, for we, sure, <laughs> we would. <laughs> uh, we were lucky they could only do like melee attacks, and that they were tied up by three fighters. Yeah. Yeah, like. The other things that I could take at this level are things like Spark, which ignites flammable objects. Um, I could do Ray of Frost, deals 1d3 cold damage. <laughs> like, that, these are my oh, options, three. you know? <laughs> I think, this I is think... basically your sling all over again. Yeah, yeah. I could take a sling with no negatives. I think like buffs and debuffs and stuff. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's a cantrip is all I get at this level, so... The buff Do you I know have a cantrip it, that can buff? Yeah, it's called Resistance. It gives you plus one on a saving throw for one round. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. No. One minute, sorry. One minute. Oh, that's, that's ten good. That's ten rounds. rounds. That's good. Still not that good, mate. It's not that good, but it's, it's better than, like, nothing. Or like, casting light or something. I don't know. I think light's more useful. I Could and you imagine, is... like... He's out of that. combat, I'm trying to cast resistance like every minute. No, stop, guys. Like, let me buff you all. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, no, need to cast it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you guys do have an unusually big party. Like the other group that I'm doing with my girlfriend and my friend, there's just two of them. So they're doing the same like, story. This, they're doing the same story. But I, I'll need to dial it back a little bit more because one of them's a druid and one of them's a bard. They don't even have a fight. <laughs> so it's it's really difficult for them to do this kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are just overkill. <laughs> I don't even think it's like uh, us is just Dunstan. <laughs> like, yeah. It's fucking like, at this name. point in time, everyone is supporting Dunstan. He's like a combat yeah. shredder and, and everyone else is just standing back going, Let me shoot. <laughs> oh, two damage! Oh, I missed. And that's oh, like poof, twenty-five damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. I smote it. Twenty-eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. You guys can just sit there and do nothing. I just say, hey, I'm skipping my turn. I'm just watching yeah. Dunson rail on this thing, and you can kill him. That's that's kind of why I have to throw harder things at you because of him, not because of like you guys. Oh, that's sweet. So when I when I turn my next level, a level three, I become immune to all fear, magical or otherwise. <laughs> at level and, three. Yeah, and and anyone stood within ten feet of me gets plus four morale bonus on saving throws against fear effects. Wow, that's fantastic. So I'm, I'm completely immune. I I'm also get to my health, which I means I'm immune. I'm immune to all diseases, including supernatural and magical diseases, including including mummy rot, which I don't even know what that is. Oh, by the way, Mark, uh, I was meant to have a familiar, <coughs> but I completely forgot. <laughs> I have a little dinosaur pet, which I forgot to send you the character. 
<laughs> I forgot I had it. <laughs> you have a pet dinosaur. It's got a weird name that I can't pronounce, like Cosmopognathus or something like that. All right. Oh, I'm so Fair nervous. Enough. <laughs> He's called Eric. Eric, is it not called Ray? Pretty sure it should be called Ray. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it should not. <laughs> <laughs> how do I know oh, how many enough. spells I can have uh, known at a level? Yeah, it tells you when you'll level up. No, because I can only I can only know a certain amount of level one spells, right? Really? Per day, pass per day. No, I'm not, no, I'm not prepared. There's a tab called known. Can I just pick any amount? Um, no, no, no. It no. should tell you. No, based, that, that's, it's based that's on your like, intelligence. That's like um, um you, you can't know. just pick any any number. Like we'd have to find the scroll. So you start. We start with a no, certain no, no, amount. No, no, and I can... think you choose someone you level up. No, he can pick. To know. To know. No, he can pick. He can pick as many as he wants. So he just it, know everything. If it's actually, I'm not sure for wizards. That's a, a I'm pretty sure when you level up, you can know. Like you, you can uh, when you turn from level one to level two, you'll. Uh, if you lock in like the wizard, the character level up thing, it'll say you gain this this many extra known spells, and oh, this many that. prepared slots. But I think outside of that. See, it didn't say that. that is, but is if if you it. if you look at, at another major spell book, you can study their spell book and you can learn any spell in their spell book, okay. and you can also find like magical scrolls like in like Baldur's Gate, and you can just like learn the scroll, learn the spell okay. that way. Other than that, you gain it while you level up, and you choose a number to learn. Okay, I'll find okay so, it, so then this level I didn't learn any, but I can add more to my bed then in that case. Okay. Right, cool. Alright, that works. Cool. I don't know how it works for uh, wizards. Well, that sounds about right, I think. Yeah, I know it's I know different bards for... Kind of similarly. It's different for, for sorcerers, so I just learn spells every level. I just like gain them out of nowhere. Um, yeah. But I have it's such a limited me. number, but I can cast more per day. So Yeah, so it says here, um, spells gained at new level. The wizards, yeah, the wizards perform a certain amount of spell research between adventures. Each time a character attains a new wizard level, he gains two spells of his choice to add to his spell book. The two free spells must be spells that he can cast, mm. so you can't learn anything higher than your current level. But oh, you can so choose any spells to know, any two spells every time you level up. Oh, so I should pick two spells to know. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and my wizard level is two, so I can pick level two spells. No. No? No, that's not right. Yeah, okay. can you cast a level two you spell? You can't cast a level two spell oh, at level two. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you can't cast two. it, then... Yeah, I think you get level. You two might be able to, you know, like he's he. Four. The wizard works slightly different. No, to yeah, but the spell it's progression zero. is very similar. Okay. Like in terms yeah. of what spells you can cast at what level, it's pretty similar across all the classes. Okay. I think you get second level spells at level four. You might get them at level three. But... Isn't it like your actual level divided by two? Or something like that? Possibly. Um, yes. Yes, that's... It is for wizards anyway. Uh, for sorcerers. If I take resistance, then it's shit, but at least it does something. I like the silent image. I think it's pretty pretty useful. Yeah, it's really good. Um... I agree, that was really cool. I blew all my silent images on the <laughs> on those stupid cards. <laughs> Not actually on the like like trolls. Just like you burn through all your level gold. one spells gambling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pay it off, you got six gold. I know, man. Uh, so I got three skills to raise. Still, you got some pretty sweet loot. Did we? 
Yeah, those potions and the divine scroll and stuff. Which potions? Um, did I say potion? I can't remember. You had a no, scroll of divine something, the oh, masterwork yeah. shield, and something else. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah tangible darts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, darts. One in spellcraft, uh, knowledge arcana. What I'm going to do as well, I'm going to record the other group. And I'm really interested to see how both groups kind of differ and change and how any more happens. So I'm really interested in that. It's been like choices they make and uh, things like that. Yeah, for example, um, Molly's group kind of killed the cave troll. Mm -hmm. And the other group, um, they have a bard. So he decided he was going to try and sing and mesmerize the troll. <laughs> so he got out his guitar in real life and just made up a song on the spot. <laughs> and it worked. And the troll just kind of like got lulled and fell asleep. So they just snuck around the troll. That's awesome. <laughs> And um, right at the very beginning of the adventure, the wagon that Molly was on got attacked by bandits, and everyone jumped out and attacked those bandits and killed them all. The other group stayed in the wagon and just made like monster noises and diplomacy their way out of it and saved the bandits and didn't kill a single bandit. So it's already very different. Did they? Did the bandits kill anyone? Nope. So no one died. Nope, they tried to kill someone, and they just, like, talked their way out of it. They were like, no, you, you can't do this. It's much better if you do this. <laughs> and they kind of found out that the bandits were actually part of this town. And they were just, like, desperate people trying to try and make money. Uh, and they just saved everyone. And it's quite, it was very interesting to see straight away how different both teams were going. So does Dunstan know as a character that he killed? I mean, I didn't kill anybody. I didn't kill anybody. Yeah. He actually didn't kill anyone. The only person that I think it was Oliver and David, right? Yeah, Oliver was exploding people's heads, like headshotting everyone. <laughs> he was, like, stood up, stood up on top of this wagon. He was just like, "I'm shooting this guy." He was like, "Natural twenty, poof, dead." Won it. I'm shooting this next guy. Natural twenty, poof, dead. Won it. He was just like a turret. And then we had one guy left at the end who was gonna kill someone, and I diplomacyed him, tried to stop him killing someone, and I managed to like diplomacy him, and then. David, like, finished him off. Yeah, he kind of walked up and cut his throat. Yep. Mate, I fucking hate PC Gen. Why? Because it's really confusing if you have to manage spells and class features as spells, and... Yeah, it's kind of all over the place. Yeah, I it, it's not perfect, but it's better than doing it on a sheet, right? I find I'm not move. sure. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like, I think I might have to... I don't know what I've just done. I think I have to go back to the previous version of this save. Um, but I don't know when that was. Like, all I was trying to do was add my favoured level. But I don't know what it's doing here. How does ghost sound work? Do I get to choose what the sound is? Kind of, yeah. yeah. Like, they actually used it in the last session to try and trick a creature to kind of come to the surface of some way. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna say I, I think it worked, right? Is, that's how it worked. Yeah, that's how we, that's that's how how we summoned the remora. Uh, okay. Let me stream. <laughs> 